Start of the game at the MCG. Umpires Carey and McKernan in charge. Melbourne going left to right in the first quarter. And Collingwood trying to break a two-game losing streak. Alan Richardson, kick up towards half forward. It's chopped off back there by Neitz. Good hand pass. Steins paddles the ball on. Viney, short pass, ill-directed. Charging out at Grinter. A good hand pass. Away to Road on the forward line. Love it. A good hand pass to Phoebe. Left foot kick, and the D's are on the board. Matthew Phoebe. Good start, Drew. Reason there, they had someone coming out of that uh, congested area. First option each time with the handball, then Grinner gave them a strong lead. Here he comes through the slightly congested area. Good quick hands. And a finish under pressure there. Well done. Yeah, it's a lovely handball by Glenn Lovett. Set that up and a great play just before that as the quick kick comes down towards the half forward line for Melbourne. They look pretty fired up. Here's Cow. He went without it. He's got backup support though. That's Peter Rowe. On the Glenn Lovett. Jakovic and McEwen. McEwen at the back went for the thump, but he missed it. And the ball will beat Morwood over the line. And Morwood Ross at the moment seems to be on his own across half back. Yes, Bear Man. Although just looking to see Obst has gone down to pick him up and we'll see once the ball goes back to centre whether he is loose forward pocket traditional rivals as Mockhorst gets it to Richardson on to Tony Shaw around the Melbourne member side of the ground a push and sharp it's punched away taken by Gavin Krasiska a good kick to keep it in play racing at it is Tingay Tingay quite happy that wasn't Krasiska actually that was Fraser so eventually the ball forced over the line on centre wing. Mickey McGuan starting the back pocket too, Pete. A bit going on in the packs here, and once again Francis is involved. Steins and Monkhurst comes to Fraser. Around the corner he goes, bouncing the ball up short of half forward. Christian tries to paddle on. Krasiska goes out of the air. Rose hand pass behind a teammate. A hurried ball by uh, Russell. He is intercepted by Stretch. Phoebe gets nearly as high as he got last week for the mark of the year. Shaw pulled off his kick. Phoebe in again. Melbourne, red hot. Glenn Lovett gets the ball away to Steins. His pass a bit high in that to half forward. That'll be a free kick. Melbourne player dragged down by the neck and will take the free outside of half forward. Cowell. Darren Cowell. Fairmont's premiership team two years ago. Kicks towards Jakovic. Gets underneath it. McEwen. Morewood to help out but it's going to be a free kick to McEwen. Ronnie McEwen held by the arm by Alan Jakovic. It was a poor kick in towards Jakovic. On the Morwood, who's been in good form. Morwood, a high floating kick. Gary Lyon used his body beautifully. No, no, unfairly, the umpire said. Should be good duel, that one, Pete, between McCartney and Lyon. Well, an established player versus the young up-and-comer. Jason McCartney, big task on Gary Lyon. He chips it across to Richardson really a much improved player Alan Richardson in towards Christian at the back it's a free kick he was being held and Michael Christian looks to be playing on the forward line today center half yes so he's looking down there for rocker the lead is on thump the ground taken away by stretch stretch to Steve Phoebe Phoebe chips it back Todd Viney at half back almost dropped it in fact he did drop it taken away by the full back for Melbourne and of course that is Phil Gibbett uh, Gilbert, I should say, back towards Gilbert. Very casual as he went after that. Taken by Maguire. Maguire a hand pass. On it comes, this is Ian McMullen. McMullen goes wide with a hand pass to Williams. He went without it. Goes back in again. Sock it off the ground. Taken away by Stephen Phoebe. Back towards the half-back line and the mark taken from Melbourne by Scott Simister playing his first game for the Demons. Kick by Simister. Bounces through centre wing. Gary Lyon is there, gathers it in one-handed, kicks up towards the 50. Jakovic, one out with McEwen. Jakovic, now 70 out from goal, loses ground with the hand pass. Back to Cowell, hand pass in to Lyon, 50 metres out. The kick was well smothered there by Fraser. Fraser back after it again. Shaw goes in hard. Oh, this is terrific stuff. Hopgood. Shaw. He had good vision to McGuan over the top. Pierre Francis, Moncourse to Francis. Now Collingwood on the rebound. The Pies looking for their first score. Down goes Francis after he got rid of the kick. It's a relay up the ground. 
and Collingwood will have the free inside 50 and the umpire comes in and speaks to Neitz. She drew at the instant, I thought that was quite fair. Francis didn't see him coming at all, I thought he would have, but obviously didn't have the vision at the corner of his eye. Well, it shouldn't have been down the ground. Rocker takes the free kick, it's close. He misses. Well, you're quite right there. That incident happened as he was kicking the ball. Split second, but So therefore it should not be down the ground. It should have been a free kick back to Francis at half forward. Still, the uh, ball was missed by Rocker, and that's a bad miss by uh, Big Severio Rocker. This is Steve Phoebe. Towards half back line, Christian punches at the ground. This is Matthew Phoebe, the two twins, Matthew and Stephen. Towards half forward, a good mark by Alan Richardson. He's got a loose man out wide. Tony Shaw, he can give it off to the quicker player in Fraser if he wants to here. He does. Mark Fraser, he loves to run. Has a bounce on the outer wing. Brings it back in towards Rocker. They fly from the back. Jimmy Steins comes in to lend a hand and he thumps it wide and over the line. Well, Melbourne have started this game at top pace. Rocker in ruck. Brown is there. Being picked up by Robbins, who returns to the Demons' side today. And he's a niggling, tagging type of player. Had a couple of run-ins with the Tribunal. Inside half forward for Collingwood. They're at point. Melbourne a goal. Rocker taps towards the boundary line. Gathered on the run by McMullen. Into row, just inside the line. He's dragged down on the tackle. It crosses the behind line. And a behind of the pies. Good pressure. Very good pressure. Interchange for both sides. Yates and Glenn Lovett. Uh, Brett Lovett, I should say, for Melbourne. And for Collingwood, Gafer and Saunders. Well, Phil Gilbert has kicked in short and he's found Stephen Stretch. Stretch right in the back pocket. A very experienced player. 29 years of age, Stephen Stretch to half-back Christian, centre of the pack. He thumps it down. Stephen Phoebe gets it further afield to uh, Neitz. As Melbourne bring it out of defence, that is pinpoint accuracy. That was by Gilbert. It's at half-forward. This is Obbs. Beautiful pass to Jakovic. Good lead, Alan Jakovic. He's playing on. He's got a loose man. Unselfish play, Jakovic. And he's found Todd Viney. Now, Todd Viney can be an indifferent kick. Now, he's kicking in short. Another loose man, the Melbourne. Well, Lee Matthews will not like that. Who is it? Rodney Grinter. Well, Pete, you're a full forward. Would you have passed it off like Jakovic did when he was 45 metres well, from I think he, I Of course think he, he would have. I think he had to then, uh, Drew. And to answer the question, no. <laughs> <laughs> Rodney Grinter from about 35 metres, chips it in. It's high. It's a goal. Two goals straight to Melbourne. They lead Collingwood on two behind. A yeah, good lead-up play too by Melbourne. That delivery from half-back, fantastic to the leading player. Just allows you then to get the ball off cleanly. First option, and the player's prepared to run. Viney, Grinter, and Jakovic unselfishly passing the ball off. Well, the main scoreboard is wrong. They're showing Collingwood are behind. They've scored two, haven't they? Yeah, I've got them for two. Right. Actually, the umpires are not bouncing the ball in the centre. Now, whether this is about the score, a flat footy, they've just exchanged footballs here. And interesting too, Drew, umpire, uh, umpire McKern has just gone over and spoken to Neitz of Melbourne. And Gary Lyon, the Melbourne captain, being consulted about the standard of the new ball. It might have been flat. We're back in the middle. The Demons have made a great start here. Free kick in the middle, and it's Monkhorst to take Steins to take it. It's, no, it's the other way, Drew. Monkhorst, it's against Steins. Jimmy Steins thought it was his. And a kick by Monkhorst out towards half forward flank. Bit of a push, good use of the body. Mark dragged down by McCartney. Played his first game in the last round two weeks ago, a losing game against North Melbourne at Victoria Park. First game for the season, that is. 
kick by McCartney into the pocket. The Melbourne player up way too early, and the free kick is against Simister. It was stupid play, actually. It was silly play. To go that early, you're always going to give it in the back, aren't you? Simister, 20-year-old from Springvale in the VFA. But in all fairness, he'd be pretty excited and uh, exuberant in his first game, Drew. Yep, drafted by Melbourne, but did his pre-season at Collingwood. Which is an interesting twist, and supports Collingwood. But it's Rocker with a free kick for goal, and he gets the pies. Third behind. So he's had a couple of chances for a couple of misses. Severio Rocker. And both from free kicks, one down the ground and one right in front there now. Stephen Phoebe chips it across. And this is Scott Simister who just gave away that free kick. Beautiful kick. Oh, 60 metre kick to centre wing over the back. Look at the running of Steins. He is a great player. On to Gilbert. Gilbert on the left foot, a clever chip pass. He's found Phoebe. This is Matthew Phoebe. Matthew Phoebe, a left footer, way out at half forward. He'll be able to lob this up towards Djakovic. Djakovic on the lead towards half forward. Lion waiting at the bottom. Oh, good fist away. A free kick. Advantage paid. It was a Collingwood free kick. Tony Francis back towards half forward. Michael Christian gets a cruel bounce. Here's Brad Rowe. He's caught. No, he isn't. Well, good pace by Rowe. Chips it around looking for Fraser. He'll have the pace. Fraser and Tingay. Fraser. Oh, well tackled by Tingay. Forces the ball over the line at half forward for the Magpies. But Peter, even if you didn't tackle Tingay then, you're still putting pressure on Fraser, which is terrific stuff. And I'll give you the tip. To catch Fraser from behind oh, is no effort. mean effort. Gilbert and Christian, two West Australians. Comes to Robbins. No distance with the kick, but he gets it out of the congested area. McGuan first there. Happy to see that ball out. McGuan and Obst met here last Saturday, Saturday week in the state game. But I'm sure that it's Andrew Ops tagging Mick McGuan. Yeah, Mick, he started in the back pocket just to try and upset. Exactly. Your arm set up. Moncourse might have got a hand to it, but Glenn Lovett for Melbourne gets the kick to centre wing. Lyon knew he had the free kick and goes back to take it from centre wing. He's looking to kick it long. Jakovic from behind McEwen. Oh, and a top mark by Rhodes. Enjoying a bit of a run on the forward line, Drew. Geez, he'd love this. Don't Backman love to get down forward, Ross? I would. Well, Peter Rode, who was so long at Carlton, and now at Melbourne, he's kicked only 12 goals in his career, and he's looking for his first goal this season. He's kicked a point this season. This is his 10th game for the year. Will it be his first goal? Good on you. Great start to the Ds. Yes, and the free kick coming to Gary Lyon because he's in front. McCartney infringing. And he just was a bit late getting the ball onto Jakovic, who'd led well, so the high ball came through. And a bit of road there. Lovely mark. Good stuff. Behind Morwood. Underrated player, Peter Rhodes. Been a great defender from Melbourne since coming across from Carlton. Very rarely beaten. So, 15 points the margin. Monkhorst wins that one, centre bounce. This is Glenn Lovett on to Tingay. They're looking dangerous, Melbourne. They've created the loose man out there. This is Todd Viney. Viney steadying on the right foot. An ordinary kick. He's really lets him down at times. Oh, well done, though, to Jakovic from Grinter. Jakovic going on with it. Alan Jakovic from 40 metres brings it back at goal, and he has missed to the left. Good play, uh, Rodney Grinter. Clever stuff. I've said quite often there, Pete, that if Grinner concentrates on playing footy, he can play the code. Well, at the moment, Melbourne giving Collingwood a hiding. Melbourne lost their first four games, and Collingwood won six out of their first seven. They've lost their last two. Are they heading for their third straight loss? McEwen, a mighty kick right into the centre square of about 70 metres. It's knocked forward for the pies to the centre circle. Good gather by Krasiska. Fraser dropped the hand pass. Persista again paddles out wide. Free Francis, kick. free kick. Yeah, Francis coming, off for a bounce. Yep, yeah, coming back to Ops because Fraser laid a tackle. Poor handball from Persista initially to Fraser. Gave him no chance. Kick by Ops is well directed. And Rode really enjoying the movement up on the forward line. Peter Rode goes wide. Grinter behind this time. Oh, he got to the front. That's a top mark. 
He had no hope from behind Morewood. One-hander in the end. That's what we're talking about. He has got skill. Look at this. One at the front posse. Eye on the footy. Both of them. Morewood hanging on. Oh. <laughs> How did that stick? Oh, great effort, wasn't it? Well, Rod Grinter has kicked one already. And he's kicked two. And Melbourne are four goals to nothing. Well, their forward line structure, Drew, is very good. They're playing up the ground line and the half forwards, allowing some space at the back for Djakovic and Grinter. And that combo is working very well at the moment. Terrific mark. And that's not an easy kick from there. He is a very good kick of a football, Rodney Grinder. So, back in the centre, it's uh, Moncors wins it, but Melbourne have been getting it out. Here they go again. Neats killed Steins. Oh, look at the skill of Lyon. How did he get out of that? Well played by Lyon. Peter Road again. Oh, they've got problems down here on the forward line, the Magpies. On to Matthew Phoebe. Phoebe a daisy cutting pass and hits Andrew Obst on the chest at 55 metres. Oh, gee, Collingwood will have to get something going shortly. A change in the back line. Krasiska has gone on to Grinter. So here's the kick. Andrew Obst, a booming kick. A magnificent kick by Obst. He's dumped it. Well, this is a blitz. Andrew Obst has kicked a 60 metre kick. It sailed over the fence. 5-1 plays three points. Yes, yeah, so and getting out of the centre, and the skipper, as you called it, Pete, just did very well their line to get out of the congested area. He shouldn't have got through. And his lovely kick to set up the play. Finishes with Obst. Great kick. Well, we've been playing just 17 minutes here, and Collingwood who were flag favourites three weeks ago, haven't scored a goal. Melbourne blitzing them. Rowe spoiled by Phoebe. Stephen Phoebe out of defence. Short pass up to centre wing. Rowe in between two Collingwood players. In Deviney. Melbourne playing premiership footy at the moment. Lyon, great take. Off to Obst. Keeps it in front of himself. The hand pass is good. Djakovic, 30 metres out. Knocked okay. over by Francis. And Djakovic will have a free kick for goal. Uh, Pulling at a shell shock at the moment. This is an absolute blitz by Melbourne. Well, their skill level, Pete's been terrific. Their clean ball handling, the line particularly, just grabbing the ball and obvious free kick there. Look at this guy on his own. Hopgood. Won't need him. He'll oh, kick this. Could have given it. Could have. He'll kick this. He was 30 metres clear. At the moment, it's 14 marks to four, 35 kicks to 18, 23 handballs to 14. All Melbourne's way. Collingwood have hardly seen the leather and Djakovic kicks for the Demons, sixth goal to nothing. He's got it. <laughs> 37 to three. And if you'd seen this scoreline three weeks ago, you wouldn't have believed it. Not at all. There are a couple of words exchanged there between Djakovic and Francis, which we can't repeat. I think you'll find Mickey Gafer on the ground very, very shortly. They've started him on the bench. I thought he'd line up on Djakovic. Maybe they're worried about the free kick situation. So back to the centre, Steins. Well, Monkos getting a lot of hit outs, but Melbourne getting it out. Now, there's is that a free kick? Umpire said no on this occasion. How will he see this? This is Tingay, cleverly done, on towards Robbins. Robbins to uh, Hopgood. He's held, but he didn't have it. Well free played. kick. Off he goes. Is he punt? No, he's got to come back behind the mark. But he handballed it away, Ross, didn't he? Yes, knew he's under pressure. That's clever stuff from the 19 year old. So, Paul Hopgood. Oh, look at this. A loose man in Stein, centre of the ground. Well, what can Collingwood do? In towards half forward. Lyon, uncontested. Not good play. Todd Viney, the chip pass. Djakovic. Oh, he's got it, Djakovic. An open goal looms. Another goal for the Demons. Goal number seven. I have never seen anything like this. Well, the catalyst for this, Drew, really has been Gary Lyon at centre half forward. He's given them a target, and his one grab play has been terrific. Other than Steins, who's always going to get those kicks midfield when the opposition ruckman drops back around centre half forward to try and cut off the lead from the full forward. And look at that clever stuff. Kept his feet. 
Well played. We're back in the centre. Can Collingwood get a goal? Monkhorst wins the tap out, goes to Rowe. Rowe approaches the 50, but wide. He's taken wide by Phoebe. Rowe skirts round him. Well done by Phoebe, who kept on chasing, and Stephen Phoebe took him out. Playing his 98th game, Stephen Phoebe, and his brother, who was drafted at the same stage, is playing his 18th. Steins works to the front and eventually wins a kick. How about that? McGuan and Obst. Morwood's been shifted off Brinter already. High ball to the 50. Williams, good mark. A uh, free kick going the other way, Drew to Rocker. Severio Rocker from 52 metres. It's long. A chance for the Pies. Christian Amark. He's trying to crib round him. The umpire will take him right round here. You watch this. <laughs> Further, Michael. Further, Michael, I think. <laughs> well, Michael Christian, who's played all 10 games this year and had a good season. Played with Western Australia in the State of Origin competition. And yeah, played pretty well too, Drew. Oh. Walks it too far. <laughs> yep, he was one of your best, wasn't he? So, Michael Christian, they're not as easy as they look, those shots from in close. You really do have to come out and open up the goals as Christian did. Now, this is Stephen Phoebe. He chips it around. They're making, they're getting too many uh, easy possessions. Oh, bad play, Simister. But he comes away with it because uh, Tingo ends up, brings it to the centre of the ground. Up they go. Thumped away by Richardson. A good punch. On to oh. Francis. A bad hand pass. Glenn Lovett intercepts. Bad skill error that. Smothered off the boot. Chance for Melbourne now as they race at it. That's Neats. Neats to the half forward line. Mark dropped by McGuan. Gavin Brown, that's his first touch. On it goes Richardson. Now Watson. The Magpies trying to get it moving. Watson to the half forward line, close to the boundary line, and over the line it goes. Half forward flank as more. But I wonder if he's been moved down there to the forward line. We'll soon see. Well, he's certainly been moved away off Grinter who kicked two goals and now on the forward line indeterminate play then and the umpire will ball it up Melbourne can you believe this are 7-1 Collingwood are four behind just under seven and a half minutes to go Steins taps defensively it goes to Williams a centering kick row oh top mark well done Well, give him top marks for that. Ten out of ten. Deserves a goal too, Drew. Look at that. Control just with the one hand. Will this be Collingwood's first goal for the game at the 23-minute mark? Should be. They've broken the drought. Good play there by Brad Rhodes. His first genuine touch of the footy. So I beg your pardon, his second. To the mark here. Phoebe out of position there. But jostling there with Monkhorst allowing Rowe to come through. Rocker into the ruck. Monkhorst to full forward. Well, Lee Matthews has to try something. Thirty-three points the margin. Rocker and Steins. Steins won that one. But Scott Russell, oh, clever hand pass. This is Fraser. In the wars, Monkhorst. Up he goes. No mark. Stephen Phoebe went without it. Stretch. Further afield. And taken over the line by Stephen Phoebe. Hank Pies want a couple of quick goals getting towards quarter time. We've got just over six minutes of play. They have been uh, blitzed by Melbourne early with terrific skill. There's Steins getting it down. Francis caught. Taken by Tingay. Scott Russell is there. He was lying over the ball, so the umpire called play on. The kick by Gilbert. Out towards centre wing. And is that a free kick? A push on Lyon. 
And so Lyons kicking. He's looking Ross to be maybe a danger player for Collingwood. Yes, done very, very well. Gary Lyon on centre wing. Centres the ball. Cowell underneath it. The mark, it's a good mark too. And it could be Rocker, is it? It is Severio Rocker, a very good mark. Centre of the ground. Well, he's their leading goal kicker for the year with 27. And now playing on the ball with Montcorst at full forward. Christian at half back still. Goes a short pass to centre wing. Mark to Watson, who played for Victoria against New South Wales. Into Christian, on to McGuan. Collingwood looking a bit better now. Well, Francis juggled it, but paid the mark. I don't think the pass was intended for Francis. Nevertheless, he had his eye on the footy and took the grab. So in the first 15 minutes of this game, Collingwood hardly got a sniff of it, but they're starting to edge their way back. Francis from 49 metres. Kick is high and hits the post. Oh, it's not looking like their day, the Magpies. I... Just little things not going their way at the moment. And mainly the good form of Melbourne. Steve Phoebe. Now he can chip it in short here if he likes. Yes, he's going to now. Oh, shocking kick. Gilbert was there. He taps it on. Now that could be a free kick yes, in the back. Got to be a very high tackle. And uh, the players don't realise it, but it'll be a kick to Ian McMullen. It was a very poor kick in by Phoebe. Now, McMullen will kick from 50 metres, way out on the boundary line. A difficult kick. But a real goal sneak, Ian McMullen. He hooks it across slightly. The pack goes up. It's almost a mark. It is to big Damien Monkhorst. The Melbourne players unable to thump. Now, this will have to come right round to the boundary line here. So this will not be an easy kick by big uh, Damien Monkhorst. He will probably run out and hook it in. They need it, Collingwood. The Melbourne players ready to swoop. Out he comes. Mulkhorst kicks, and he's gone. Good goal. So the Magpies fight back. Damien Mulkhorst has kicked his first, 7-1 to 2-5. Yes, with a target like that, Christian may have pinched it off him. Plus, he had... Pain in front there, which was neat. He might have got hands on it, but uh, ended up being paid to Mongos. He finished off well here. Not an easy kick. Did it well, the big fella. The Bies have kicked the last two. Melbourne was seven goals to nothing. Had a blitzing start. Shaw gets the hand pass to Russell. Good to Watson. Long kick on the run by Watson. Monkhorst. Free kick. Free kick, Monkhorst. Being held, got pulled back. He went up with one hand there. Just to try and contest. He thought he might try and shepherd the balls and it dropped too short, though. And then Simmons to the first gamer. Just retarded him and pulled him to the ground. Good decision by the umpire. Here it is here. There's the arm wrapped around. Well, who's holding who is the question. Who's no. holding who there, Ross? No, Simister started holding Monkhorst's left arm. Well, Simister's had a tough initiation. Monkhorst for his second goal. Collingwood making a comeback. Well, well done by the big fella. The move Matthews has made to put Walker onto the ball and leave Monkhorst at full forwards. Done well. Cut the goals to the big fella there. The Magpies fight back. Two goals. Good move by Lee Matthews. So the game has changed complexion all of a sudden after that early blitz. The Magpies trail by 20 points. As Lyon goes without it, here's Todd Viney. Hopgood. Quick hand pass to no one in particular. Tapped on by Obst. This is Todd Viney. This is Tingay. Tingay oh. in towards the pocket on his own. Glenn Lovett. Lovett looking for Djakovic. The long kick. Grinter at the back. Oh, good mark. Or was it a free kick? I think it was a free kick in the finish. Jason McCartney. Good effort by McCartney to take front position. The youngster 
Jason McCartney. Oh, it might drop short this. Neats over the back. He's got backup support. That's Matthew Phoebe. On it comes to Neats. Neats straightens up and he's missed a sitter from 20 metres. Well, he did everything right there, Pete. Some quick hands from his teammates. He's steadied. A deliberate shot just pulled it a bit left. Well, it's a high-scoring first term. We've had ten goals. Melbourne the first seven, Colling with the last three. The margin now just 21 points. McGuan kicks in. McCartney can't mark. Brown off hands. Bouncing near the centre. Robbins charge at it. Missed it. Taken by Gilbert. Glenn Lovett takes the mark outside half forward. Best and fairest winner last year. Centering kick. Obst. Good mark. Well, stack up Obst against McEwen. You wouldn't give Obst a hope. And Mick McGuan's got his hands in the air saying, well, who's picking up who? Well, Mick, that's your man. And a good effort there too because I thought the kick was intended initially for Djakovic and it went right over his head. And Obst read that very well. Andrew Obst played for South Australia when they won the Interstate Series. Right in front, 40 metres. Has sprayed it right. So Melbourne have missed the last two goals and after building up a 38-point lead, they wouldn't want to think it's over. No, Collingwood will fight it right out, particularly as they've lost uh, two games in a row. They'll be pretty well fired up. Mickey McGuan. He kicked that far too high, Andrew Obst, and he? he just tried to lob it in. McGuan to the half-back line. Stein sets himself from behind for the punch. It's Glenn Lovett getting it across to Hopgood. Tapped on by Cowell. Leitz is there. McGuan did it well. On to Francis. Well played by the Magpies. The kick out towards centre wing. Two on one here. Phoebe had two to beat. Three to beat in the finish. Fraser on to Tony Shaw. Shaw and Phoebe. Well done by Phoebe. Put the pressure on. Ooh. Lucky. Very lucky, Pete. Yes, I couldn't see it there, but umpire said it was a push to Shaw. Across to McMullen. He sets it up for the high flyers. Monkhorst from the back. Up go the big arms. He couldn't take it, though. Steins is there. And a free kick has been found. It will go the way of Melbourne. And it looks like it's going to one of the Phoebes. Steve and I would think. Or is it... Uh, Bob? Yeah. No, it's Stephen it's, Phoebe. I think it's Steve Phoebe to take this kick. It is. So Phoebe at half back. He can chip it in short. He's not going to risk it this time. He kicks it to centre wing. Road over the back. Here's Gavin Brown. We haven't seen much of Brown so far. He hooks it back, smothered off the boot. And it will be a throw in at half forward for the Magpies. Time clock showing 30 seconds of play left in the first term. The smother was by Jim Steins. What a player. A couple of state games. You'd reckon he needed to rest from club games. Love it. Up towards half forward. Lyon! Fumbles the mark. McCartney gets it to Richardson. He's running out of room. A high ball to Francis. And they can't keep that one in. And we'll have a throw in. Probably be the last action for the quarter. 45 to 23. Melbourne led by 38 points after they kicked the first seven goals. Steins wins the tap. That is quarter time. Melbourne supporters love it. But not as much as they might have about seven minutes ago. D's 7-3-45. Collingwood 3-5-23. Start of the second term here at the MCG. 7-3 Melbourne. Collingwood 3-5 after an initial blitz of seven goals by Melbourne. They left the Magpies shell shock. There's a hand pass coming out to Tingay. An ordinary one that time, though, towards centre wing. That's Phil Gilbert. He went without it. Tackled by Glenn Lovett. And the up uh, Peter Carey will come in and bounce it. The Magpies fought back, Ross, in that second half, though. Yes, they did. There's second half of the first term. Still within touch, there's no question. But there's a long way to go on this game. So centre wing, Steins and Christian. Now I'm looking down, Monkhorst still playing at full forward and obviously Rocker on the... No, Rocker at centre half forward by the looks of it. 
It's kicked by Cowell to the half forward line. Umpire calls play on. Peter Rowe on the left foot. Brings it in towards Djakovic. It bounces away from he and Ronnie McEwen. And over the line in the forward pocket. Yes, Rocker is centre half forward. Christian on the ball. Trying to pick up Steins. Well, it was a good move by Lee Matthews to put Monkhorst to full forward. He kicked two goals with his height was posing a problem. Now... Gary Lyon and Road to do the ruck work. Here's Grinter hooking and trying to hook it back over his shoulder. Gavin Brown's been very, very quiet. Tap back to Djakovic. He went without it. Now, kick out in the full by Gavin Brown, I feel. It is out in the full. Now, whose kick is it? Road or Djakovic? Peter Road. Former Carlton player. Usually a defender and a very yes. good one, Ross. Collywood not getting their same drive, Pete, from Brown and McGuan. They've been forced to play backline roles. Peter Rhodes kick one, he's hooked this one, and then he's sneaking in for a behind or out in the full. He's put it out in the full, so not a good kick. And towards the end of the first term, Melbourne did miss a couple of sitters when they could really have consolidated. Here's McGuan in the back pocket. Obst is picking him up and has forced Lee Matthews to start McGuan in the back pocket. Here's Steins and Christian, Gavin Brown, Tony Shaw, quick hand pass, free kick. Yes, Tingay carried on the tackle with Shaw. No, it's a, no, the it's initial one was to Brown. Yep. And this is Gavin Brown. Been very, very quiet. Centre wing. Up they go at the big mark taken by Stephen Stretch. He can give it across to Steins or he can bomb it in long. He's going to kick it long. And he is a beautiful kick to the half forward line. The pack develops. Up they go. It's stumped down the ground. McGuan, quick hand pass. Watson, he's caught. Throws it away. Taken by Glenn Lovett. Over the top. Hand pass. Comes back was an ordinary one. Tony Shaw, courageous as usual, kicks wide. And it's a half forward and over the line. Half forward for Melbourne. He's they really setting the standard, Pete. Tony Shaw, his first couple of endeavours in this second quarter have been terrific. Oh, he was terrific then. Christian in front. Two-hander down to Watson. Bouncing ball to Williams at centre wing. Good enough to get away from stretch. Good distance with a kick from Williams. Bouncing ball, chance for Rocker. Hand pass to Rowe. He's got the pace. Oh, terrific! Uh, just offline. Gee, that was a good effort, though. It was a great effort. Good work by Rocker, too, just to keep the ball in play and then just allow the little tap onto Rowe. Clever stuff. Very mobile, Rocker. There's the kick to Glenn Love and a lovely kick in. Got Rocker playing at centre half forward at the moment. Started at full forward. Monkhorse has gone there. Glenn Lovett to centre wing. Steins. The big hands go up. Steins and Todd Viney. Steins goes backwards. This is Stretch. Stretch can go outside to Steins. The chip pass. He is normally very good at these Steins, and that is no exception. He finds Andrew Obbs, who kick a, kicked a 60 metre torpedo punt in the first term. Here's the kick in towards half forward. Punched away from Peter Road by Gavin Brown, and it'll be a throw in half forward for Melbourne. Lyon gets up very high, running onto the ball, Cowell, bounces it through 50, McGuan's back there. Collingwood edging away at this Melbourne lead. On his own out in the open is Christian, off the left boot, on his own is Morwood, who has flogged in defence, moved forward, now should kick a goal. First goal to Shane Morwood. Melbourne kicked the first seven, calling with the last four. Yes, yeah, and all developed because of good teamwork across half back there. Christian running free, getting away from Steins, was right across the other side of ground. And then Morwood also had Russell on his inside, but finished off nicely. Good passage of play by Collingwood. The Magpies right back in business here. 15 points only now, the margin. Steins versus Rocker. Russell. Now McCartney breaks the tackle, Jason McCartney. Well played. Long kick in towards Rowe and Morwood. Over the back is Rowe. A free kick. Free kick to Collingwood to Morwood. On the shoulder, I think he's paid the umpire. Melbourne player Gilbert doesn't like it. Let's have a look on the shoulder. Yes. Good umpiring decision. The left hand ripped around his shoulder. And good umpiring just picked that from a distance. Freeze, 13 to 8 in favour of Collingwood. Well, Shane Morwood will kick for his second goal in a minute. 
Not a bad looking kick. It's right through the middle. Terrific performance by the Magpies to come back hard. You wouldn't believe it. They're now only trailed by nine points. Yes, yeah, good decision, Pete. There's the left arm there of Robbins. And just shows you today's footy. It doesn't take much to get yourself back in the game. If you persist, get yourself in front. Attack the footy. Cool overcast day in Melbourne. It comes down to love it. Kicked by Glenn Lovett, up towards the 50. Well done by Hopgood. The junior star, Teal Cup level, and a top mark taken by Jakovic. Yes, made look easy there, Drew. You're quite right there. But well played also by the young fellow Hopgood. Terrific pass, but those marks aren't easy to take under pressure. A clean grab. Alan Jakovic playing just his fourth game this year. Kicks his third goal. And that breaks a run by the Pies. And again, the importance of getting the ball out of the centre, get it moving quickly. Targets across half forward, mobile people, people, and to finish off with a quality player like Jakovic at full forward. They needed that one, Melbourne. Collingwood had been well on top since about the 15 minute mark of the first term. Uh, back to the centre we go, Rocker and Stein. Steins hooks it down with the left hand. Lyon receives from Road. Gary Lyon, a quick kick. Hopgood pushing, shoving. Oh, he's got backup support from Cal. Cal, an open goal. And Cal has hit the pace, so that's one apiece. One to Collingwood, one to Melbourne. Has he got some pace, people, to get onto the footy? Just attacks the ball with that lightning speed. Short kick into McEwen, but he's got to come back. Yes, the umpire hadn't finished waving the flags. Mick McGuan, who represented Victoria in the State of Origin final last Saturday here at the MCG. Last Saturday week. Thump forward, comes to Richardson. Lucky. McCartney to Shaw. All Collingwood, forward of the wing. Fraser with plenty of pace. He goes long. Monkhorst. Rowe taps away from goal. Monkhorst tries to tap it, uh, trap it. And the umpire will ball it up, and it's only about 25 metres from goal. Well, good effort by Phoebe to get into that space, and he had to commit his body with Monkhorst looming up behind him. 8 4, plays 5 6. Forward pocket for the Magpies. Phil Gilbert to do the ruck work. Now, here's Glenn Lovett who just keeps. Getting that ball with monotonous regularity. Well done by Christian. Back to Shaw. Tony Shaw in towards the pocket. And a free kick. I think the umpire's going to play here for in the back. He might have paid the mark, actually, Pete, to Gilbert. Oh, well. Gilbert, a chip pass. And he has found big Jimmy Steins at half back. Well, well done, Jim Steins. He was supposed to have missed about six weeks with broken ribs and hasn't missed a game. Viney's doing a good job on Russell. Across the half-back line he goes to Robbins. Renan Tagger. Melbourne players on their own on the member's wing. Tingay. He's got stretch up the ground. Who gets rid of Fraser. The kick by Tingay inside 50. Jakovic from behind. McEwen, good mark in front. Dishes it off quickly to McGuan. Now McCartney. Uh, Williams shrugs the tackle. McGuan on the run. We've got a game of footy now. It was one-sided for the first 20 minutes. Bouncing ball, row Beats the tackle. All Collingwood. Morewood again. Well, he's kicked to Shane Morewood. Oh, he hit the umpire. He played on. Now the oh, umpire's going to give boy. him another kick. Morewood oh. played on. Yes. Yeah. Now... He did well, play on. That well, is he... a real watch your decision, that one. Well, he won't change his mind as much as they can argue. They're in there. They are right to argue in some respects because Morwood certainly played on. He tried to chip it across to a loose man in front of goal. Oh, goal. Shane Morwood. He's kicked the goal. Give three points to Morwood and three to the umpire. <laughs> That's his third for the quarter. To see this again on replay, there we are. 
It's a good smother by the umpire. It's not a kick to Morwood, no way. Well, he gave him another kick. He hadn't blamed time on. Is that what it was, Ross? Or... Well, we're back in the centre. Interesting one. Nevertheless, it's a goal to the Magpies. And they have picked up their game. McCartney to half forward. Oh, Gilbert got in the way of his teammate then. That's Phoebe. The short kick is an absolute shot. A straight to Tony Shaw. So they're making a few skill errors now, Melbourne. It was Steve Phoebe that time. Good, a good effort by uh, Williams. Nearly took the mark. Williams again. Oh, he tried desperately to get it. Todd Viney taken away by Francis. Handball straight into the Melbourne player. Collingwood working hard now. Free kick. Had to be a free kick. A bad tackle by Matthew Phoebe. And that's Ian McMullen. McMullen can chip it across the centre of the ground. Shane Watson on his own. He might be brought down. Yes. Too slow to get rid of it. Melbourne players are there. Tingay. Now Viney. Now Steins. Steins kicks it out wide. Hopgood's got two Collingwood players to beat. Oh, free kick, Hopgood. Bad play, Collingwood, because they had the numbers. Yeah, Hopgood was picking up Francis in the first quarter. Cows now got that job. Kick by Hopgood to centre half forward. One hander by McEwen. Terrific. Away to Watson. This is starting to look like a typical Queen's birthday holiday game between Melbourne and Collingwood. Shaw gets it to McGuan. Long kick on the run, Mick McGuan. Monkhorst. Off his hands and through for a behind. Margin nine points. Well done by Stephen and Phoebe there to get back and help out. Didn't allow Monkhorst an easy contest. Now Phoebe kicks it wide. Oh, they've got loose men here. This is Tingay. Chips it wide to Matthew Phoebe. So the original kick was Stephen Phoebe. Mickey McGuan. On the mark, the chip pass, Glenn Lovett. He can go to Steins or he can kick long. He finds Steins out wide on his own. And Jimmy Steins chips it. He's got Todd Viney on his own. Now, where's Jakovic? The lead is on by Jakovic. Versus McEwen. Jakovic and McEwen. McEwen almost to mark. Good attempt. He's got it. Hooks it back to the boundary line. Good play, Ronnie McEwen, because he was under enormous pressure. Fifty two plays forty three. We're midway through the second quarter here at the MCG. They talk about traditional rivals. It was a Queen's birthday holiday in nineteen fifty eight when these two teams attracted the biggest home and away crowd of ninety nine thousand. There'd be about forty short of that today. Dinosaurs wrestle to the ground. Might be a bit unkind to Steins and Christian. The ball out of play, centre wing. Jim Steins, number 41. It's incredible, number 11. Incredible that he's playing his 139th game straight. And Don Cordner holds the record at Melbourne, 145 straight. He's closing in on it. He's beaten broken ribs, or suspected broken ribs, and a tribunal appearance. Centering kick, and here he is again, Big Jim. And he's an Irishman to boot. Up towards centre half forward, McGuan takes the bouncing ball. He dodges, falls to ground. Richardson to Rocker. Kick by Rocker, some distance to the 50. Rowe with Phoebe. Stephen Phoebe and Brad Rowe. Matthew Phoebe gets back to help out his twin brother. Oh, great play by the twins. In towards centre wing, there's Gary Lyon. This is going to be a rip snorter of a game, this one. You can see it looming. After early blitz by Melbourne, Collingwood fighting hard. Here's Peter Rode in the back. Kevin Brown's hardly been sighted so far. He's playing on the back line, I think, He's Ross on Road. the time, Pete, yes. So this is Peter Rode. Bring it in towards full forward. Jakovic and McEwen. Jakovic, McEwen at the back. And Mickey Maguan takes it over the line. But Jakovic wrestling with McEwen won't help. McEwen's a bigger man. And Alan Jakovic wants to keep leading, I think, Ross. Keep moving. 12 minutes remaining in the first half. Here's Jakovic. Bursts the tackle, loses the ball. It comes to Tinge. He's got time, but it's smothered. Free kick. Yeah, free kick to Jakovic. Francis threw him to the ground there. Silly play by Francis. All Jakovic was doing was shepherding his teammate. He just don't do that. On 
the ball was smothered. Chingay's kick too, that nice. easy kick for goal. Right. Jakovic for number four. Goal. Two in each quarter to Alan Jakovic. He hasn't got brother Glenn to kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the funniest thing. There it is here. There's the, the shepherd. All he was yeah. doing at Francis is through the ground. Yep. And the funniest thing I've ever seen in football was that kiss, I think, from Alan Jakovic on his brother. I don't think Glenn thought it was all that funny. You almost like Merv Hughes kissing you, wouldn't it? If we get five minutes, I might ask you about their relationship in the state game for WA. <laughs> Here's Francis pushing and shoving with Cal. And then Francis saying, bounce the ball to the umpire. <laughs> you can almost hear him mouthing that. Then bounce the ball. Just bounce the ball in, I That's what it. he's saying. <laughs> so, it'll be interesting if Peter Kerry plucks out a free kick out of this. Here's Steins. Oh, he hooks it down with the left hand. Francis comes out of the centre. Kicks it wide. Obst diving on it. He's got backup support from Todd Viney. Todd Viney, a quick hand pass. Here's little Francis racing through the centre of the ground. Clever hand pass. Rocker, another one. On to Fraser. On to Christian. Michael Christian in towards the pocket. At the back. Big Monkhorst read it well and takes a mark down near his knees. A good mark. And his height, not that he needed the height then, but his height worrying young Simister. Oh, certainly. And he just kept his eye on the footy. Rowe came with a flashing jump in front. Could have put him off with Phoebe, but kept his eye on the ball. Well done. Well, it's been a great move, this. Lee Matthews getting Damien Moncourse to the forward line. Kicking for goal number three. His strength and height, a big worry to the Demons. Oh, he's hooked this. He's missed it. Deserved better. Bad kick. Repeat, Lee Matthews had to try something, didn't he? So, Christian's now on the ball, has been for most of this quarter. Rocker centre-half forward. Moncourse staying at full forward. It's been a fair move. Kick in by Phoebe. Glenn Lovett can't take the mark because of interference by Russell. And Scott Russell's been quiet, hasn't he? Yep, hardly seen yes. it, Russell. Scott Four Russell. handballs, yeah, no Viney's, kicks. Not a kick. Viney's had 12 touches. The kick by Lovett. Man in front, Hopgood takes the mark. Neats, rather. Road. Oh. Way on, says the umpire. Might have been a free. Brown paddles the ball to Rocker. Rocker comes inboard to Francis. A feisty little rover. Centering kick. And Christian Marks at centre half back. <laughs> Shrugs off stretch. Well, who would have thought Michael Christian uh, would help turn the game by going onto the ball for Collingwood? Collingwood won the flag in 1990 with Monkhorst and Manson, a duo in the ruck. Francisca takes the mark, gets the ball off to Fraser. He's got too much pace for Tingay. Goes for goal on the run. It swings away from goal and off hands through four and behind. Now you mark to Brad Rowe. We see Mickey Gay for warming up. Just wait to see what the change is. Well, I wonder if he'll go on to uh, Jakovic because you've got to remember Jakovic has kicked four goals on Ronnie McEwen. And there'll be a big roar when Mickey comes onto the ground. Steins, oh, nearly a free kick to Steins, a great mark. He was held too by Christian. So that is a great attempt by the uh, big mark by the big Irishman. On the... Well, it was an ordinary looking kick actually, that by Robbins. But a mark has been taken, it was a poor kick by Robbins really under the circumstances. Good mark by Obst though. Yeah, Andrew Obst brings it in towards full forward. Road at the back. Oh, he couldn't mark it. Taken by Ronnie McEwen. McEwen a sweeping hand pass. He's looking there for Gavin Krasiska. He found him. He kicks it way out towards Morwood. Morwood on centre wing. On the left foot. Normally a great left foot kick. He's looking for Rocker. Rocker caught. Gets in a hand pass. Row. Now around the corner, Darren Saunders. In front of goal. Taken away by Simister. Away from Monkhorst. And on to Steins. Steins covering ground. Tingay a half volley. Watson collars him. Whistle's gone. Free kick to Tingay. So you did that well too, Tingay. Trapped that beautifully. Kicked a goal with his first kick in league footy about five years ago to win a game in time on in the last quarter. Lyon. 
Actually, he turned his opponent inside out and then stepped over the line. Perhaps should have given the handball off to Viney. By the up by down, Peter Carey, Christian ran through it. <laughs> and the crowd roars. And crowds, yeah, They're supporters of 15 clubs loved it. <laughs> They're cruel, these football supporters. On centre wing, there's Andrew Obbs still going on with a terrific play by Obbs. Look at him go. Tony Francis, well done. Almost a free kick to Francis. Alan Richardson kicks it straight to uh, Lyon. Lyon to Todd Viney, but Andrew Obbs, that was a tremendous effort. Over the back. Here's Rowe. He's got backup support. Phil Gilbert's going to have a shot for goal. The full back kicks a goal and puts it through. What a performance. Well, is that team inspiring stuff by Phil Gilbert? And he loves it. Have a look at him. Yes, and certainly he would. It's his first score for the year. Including points. So, goal. Opens with a clean record. Good stuff. Look at this play. Ops, fantastic. Initially, then Gilbert, very deliberate shot at goal outside 50. Great kick. Well, we're back in the middle after a terrific running goal. 10 4 to 6 9. Melbourne in front. Free kick, Francis, this time. He's poleaxed. Advantage played. Gavin Brown going for a rare run. Hawks the hand pass. Oh, he holds onto it. Eventually delivers to Fraser. He goes oh. further afield, but it went behind McGuan. They've lost it. Robbins gets it out to Road. Should have been a Collingwood goal, but they turned it over at half forward. Now Gary Lyon for the Demons. Goes in short to centre half forward. Stretch charges at it. It was a poor kick actually by Lyon. Watson. Long kick, half back to half forward. Robbins punches from behind, good defensive play. Russell, Collingwood another chance. A better hand pass from McGuan this time. A high ball to Rowe. With him is Stephen Phoebe. Glenn Lovett keeps the ball in to Stephen Phoebe. Into Steins. Stretch has to stretch. Back he goes to Stephen Phoebe for the third time. A high one. And Matthew Phoebe takes the mark. Oh, that was great play by Melbourne under pressure. There a lot of teamwork there, yes. Roscoe. Matthew Phoebe. Oh, look at this. Over the back, Christian. He's missed it, though. Lyon is there to back up. So is Obst. So is Stretch. Oh, here's Todd Viney. Viney chips it across to Tingay. Danger here for Collingwood. Tingay on the left foot. Jakovic and McEwen. Jakovic and McEwen again. Jakovic an open goal. He straightens up. He's missed it. He's kicked it across the face. A bad miss by the full forward. And the Collingwood crowd loves it. And he's getting a tap on the back. And I think that might have been by Mickey Gopher. Well, he's already got four goals won. And we've got five and a half minutes to half time. He has a high scoring rate, Jakovic. If he can put together 22 or 20 games in a year, he'll kick 100. Ball goes out of bounds in between half forward and centre wing. Well, Jakovic in the last two years has kicked 71 and 40. Well, I had a bet with a Melbourne supporter at the start of the year that he'd kick 50. This Melbourne supporter said he wouldn't through suspension and injuries. So. Well, How am I standing, Drew? Well, he'd only kicked ten prior to today, but four more. And if he plays the rest of the games, he'll get his 50. Love it. Kick smothered, ball back out of bounds. An exciting player. I love watching him. I well, reckon in there's 91. There's always something happening. I reckon in 91, his start to his AFL career was fantastic. Well, he's certainly what the crowd loves to see. Whether you love him or hate him, he is exciting, Djakovic. Now, here's Darren Saunders. Racing in towards half forward. It's a high floating kick. Monkhorst is there. Thump the ground. The little Collingwood players are there. And Rocker. Rocker gets it to Rowe. He threw that. And the umpire said that exactly. He was side on. Saw Rocker throw it across there to Brad Rowe. So a kick down there. And it will be taken by Simister. Scott Simister playing his first game. Gary Lyon across the face. Thump the ground. Who's going to end up with that? It was Steins putting the head down and going in with a quick hand pass. Comes out to Richardson. Here's Gavin Brown. Brown at half back. In towards half forward. Up they oh. go. Good effort by Robbins with courage. Out it comes to Neitz. Neitz is tackled from behind and the umpire has no hesitation but to come in and bounce. I tell you what, young Simmons, the Peter's a very good kick, isn't he? Clears the ball oh. in the danger area. We picked that. His first meters. kick of the day went yep. about 60. 
Monkhorst back on the ball against Steins. This one comes to stretch. Bounces end on end. Up short of half forward. Clash of players. Lyon takes out his opponent. Richardson gets the ball but can't get Poop to ball. Cowell gets the hand pass out. Glenn Lovett floats one across to Tingay. Now this is Tingay. He got it from Hopgood. Kicked by Tingay. Oh. Bounces through for a behind. You didn't want to shame on uh, Rongan then, did you? <laughs> Spin back in. 65 to 45. It's certainly a game of football for four premiership points. And in the first 20 minutes, it was just all Melbourne. But they have steadied a bit, Melbourne. Uh, Collingwood were getting well on top and looked like going past them. And Melbourne have certainly steadied and playing pretty good football at the moment on ordinary kick, Ronnie McEwen. A very poor kick, in fact. Matthew Phoebe. Danger here, the chip pass. In towards Jakovic. Oh, he's marked. And it all started from a poor kicking. That's all it needs. Get the ball out of the danger area as far as you can. It's a good mark from Djakovic. Well, this is from McEwen. It's two of them, Ross, where he's plucked down yes. when you thought McEwen was in the position to spoil. So four goals to Alan Djakovic, and this exciting full forward will kick from 45 metres directly in front. The crowd is hushed. There's the kick from Djakovic. It's a goal, all right, right through the middle. So Melbourne kick clear once again. They have certainly steadied. 11-5, play 6-9. Yes, an important contribution from Djakovic. Five goals, getting close to halftime. Three in this quarter to settle his side, as Pete said. The game's ebbed and flowed a bit to each side. Each side taking 10 or 15 minutes. And Djakovic, as we mentioned there, it's a very good mark. Well, they've got to make a move down there, don't they? Take Ronnie McEwen off him. Djakovic has kicked three out of four this quarter for Melbourne. And Shane Morwood's kicked three out of three this quarter for Collingwood. Free kick in the centre to be taken by Monkhorst. Drops about 15 metres short. Morwood might nearly have taken a free, but not doing. Oof. Obst, ball and all tackle on Francis. They were teammates here nine days ago for South Australia. I think Obst is a sensational player. Well, just a little a, thing he did on the members oh, wing about uh, he's, seven minutes ago. He's exactly. tough and hard, Drew. Christian off, McMullen back on. So there's a free kick going the way of Steins. It's time for holding. Jimmy Steins, he just keeps working. Now he gives it across to Scott Simister. Let's watch his kicking this time, Ross. Oh, look out. Gee. Bad play by the youngster. Very bad play. I don't know what he's thinking, was he? Whether he was trying to dummy the hand pass. Yes, the Collingwood player too close to him, Pete. All he had to do initially when he got it was roost at 60 metres. Half forward. Would have been Melbourne. 90 metres forward of where it is now. Well, amazing. So it's at half forward for Melbourne. Francis going in hard. There's Cal. All kicked away by Tingay. Well done, Tony Francis. On to McMullen. McMullen trying to break away. He's caught. Hand pass taken by Gilbert. They've got the loose ball now, Melbourne. Here's Tingay. Tingay chips it to half forward. Peter Rode, a good mark. Road, danger for Collingwood. The hand pass to Tingay. Back the road. Road, who's he going to look for? He chips it in towards half forward and he's found Hopgood. Hopgood's got a loose man out wide. He's got two options and he finds Matthew Phoebe. The value of having someone like Peter Road on the forward line is he knows how hard it is to get the footy when you're in the back line. He's used every opportunity to its best advantage. Matthew Phoebe sneaking down. He's already kicked one goal. He's a left footer. He will kick from 45 metres. A vital kick for Melbourne. There's the kick. A low stabbing drop punt. Didn't make the distance. And eventually it just rolls off hands and over the line for a behind. So not a good kick, that one. Expected better. Might have taken the mark of the year last Sunday, Pete, in Hobart. Oh, Matthew Phoebe. He was up there five minutes early and it fell into his arms. It was unbelievable. Be. It was like balling in Perth. Yeah. Two weeks ago at the Wacker. Kicking straight up the ground. Monkhorst tapping on. Saunders goes to ground. Russell's hand pass intercepted by Steins. Now Melbourne with a chance. Viney kicked to centre half forward. Not a bad effort. Hopgood might have taken the mark. Tingay a backhander. Is it a throw? Hopgood. Oh, was that a throw? That's the question mark. I think it's more of a hit than a scoop. Oh, I thought he scooped it up. A backhanded scoop. And the siren sounds for half time here. And Alan Djakovic is lining up his sixth goal. And the Collingwood players saying, Prisiska saying, well, that's a scoop. 
Do you know, I grew up in Queensland. We used to pass the ball in rugby like that. That certainly looked a backhanded uh, flick from the ground, didn't it? But the umpire had a good view of it. Well, Djakovic's best haul this year in the seniors is six goals. He might equal it to half time here with this kick. But Djakovic stopping and saying this guy's too close of the right. Is it Shane Watson? Yeah. Well, you want to kick he the goal. He's very, now. very close, uh, Watson, isn't he? Well, he want to kick the goal, Pete, after all this. Yeah, but look how close he is, Ross. Well, there it is. A throw, a scoop, a tap. What do you reckon? Djakovic for number six. Close. A goal. Look at him. What a finish to the half. Well, Melbourne kicked the first seven goals. Collingwood kicked the next five. But Melbourne have steadied and at halftime lead 12-6 to 6-9. And Djakovic is already having a softie in the dressing room. three-point lead to the Demons at half-time. Plenty for Collingwood to do in the second half of there to get the points. They're facing their third loss in a row, the Pies, after being competition favourites. Williams. Morwood had to wait for it. Viney. Hand pass astray. Richardson. Simister. Towards the outer side. Nobody there. Ball out of play. Lee Matthews has moved Gavin Brown to full forward. Rocker off the ground. He's got uh, Scott Russell away from Todd Viney. who did a very good job at him. Stephen Stretch is now picking that player up. And Ronnie McEwen still a full back, Ross. On Djakovic, who has kicked six goals. So here's Tony Shaw. He'll try and lift the Magpies. To half forward. Watson. To Siska. Now Maguire. Races to half forward, chips it in short. Oh, good mark. That's a good mark. Oh, very good mark on his knees, Shane Moore, and he took it in the hands. Yes, he knew it was going to drop too short to scoop it into his chest. He's chipped it across to Mark Fraser in front of goal. 50 metre penalty. So a gimme goal to start the third term. Just what the Magpies needed. Mark Fraser will kick from directly in front. Mark Fraser. Kicks and goals. Great start for the Magpies for the third term. And a long way to go to catch up. But that will certainly help, Ross. Yes, well, they got a rev at quarter time, Pete. And they obviously took heed of what Lee Matthews said to them. Came out firing in that first part of the second quarter. They can do the same thing, but continue on in this third, not just stop still again. Get themselves right back into the game. Gavin Brown going to full forward. It's a good move. He was out of the play across half back. Bounce back in the centre. 78 to 51. Steins wins. Chris Siska. Good trap. Clears the centre square. Bounces for Rowe. Fingertip job. Up to Rowe. Morewood got it going forward. Watson. Glenn Lovett for Melbourne. Hurry kick out of defence. Very high. Punch forward. Goes to Krasiska. Feeds it out to Williams. Back to Krasiska. He's hand pass straight to Viney. And now Melbourne have it. Well, it's unbelievable. Up to Matthew Phoebe. His kick to centre half forward. Richardson in front. Grinter spoils. Here's Tingay at half forward. No, it's not. It's Hopgood. He was looking like Djakovic. Oh, pretty ordinary. The way he went for that. Very casual, I felt. He really could have grabbed that with two hands and kept it in, Alan Djakovic. Michael Christian, the other player off the ground with Rocker for Collingwood. Well, taking two big men off. Try and get a bit of run, I would think. So, half forward for Melbourne. Can they retaliate with a goal? Oh, well done by Todd Viney on the road. Road has a kick and goal. It's floating through. Oh, great effort. Peter Road, top goal. Well, he's kicked two great goals. Peter Road. And that is a team lifter. 13-6 to 7-9. Yes, and watch this again on replay. 14 possessions for Peter Road. Really enjoying the run on the forward line. 
making the most of his opportunities. I said during the second quarter, often when backmen go to the forward line when they haven't had much of a chance up there, they know how important it is to get the possession and do something with it. Well played, Peter Rowe. Prior to this game, Rowe had kicked 12 goals in 130 games. He's kicked two today. Russell goes back to Williams. A centering kick. Diving mark taken by Gilbert. West Australian recruit in his first season in the AFL. Across he goes to Neitz. Also a first season player. Awkward half volley. Obst blocked by Morwood. Fraser's got the pace. Looks for Krasiska, who's been good in this third quarter. Neitz goes back. Missed his teammate with a hand pass. McGuan threads through a hand pass. To, oh, didn't sit all right there for Krasiska. But it's grabbed by Russell. He goes from 20 metres. Great goal. Thirteen six to eight nine. Yes, a good quick reply to an effort over here by Stretch. You might see this in a minute here. No, he missed it. Just got himself out of the play beforehand. Not necessarily on that one. That one wasn't so good either. And the goal results. So the Magpies have gained six points on that half-time lead by Melbourne. They're working hard at the centre bounces. Very important who gets it out of the centre. It's not so much who gets the hit out. It's more who gets it out of that centre with that quick kick down your end. Centre breaks, 11 to 10 Collingwood, so nothing in it. Melbourne probably with a little bit more talent on the forward line and probably they've capitalised a lot better. There's Monkhorst, the big thump. Now, the quick kick is by David Neitz to half or Lyon back with a flight, eyes on the ball, and Tony Francis didn't have much hope there. Now, Gary Lyon chips it in. Djakovic couldn't mark. Tap down, Glenn Lovett. Now Djakovic, around the corner, a chance for a mark by Grinter. It's a goal to Djakovic. That's a freak goal, Pete. Oh, good shepherding Grinter. He's kicked seven goals, the full forward. Alan Djakovic, flamboyant as ever, and he loves it. Look at him. Watch this tap here. The ball's it's punch coming from Djakovic. Good tap by Tingay. Team play. Love it. That's clean to Djakovic. That's a terrific kick. Well, that's seven goals to Djakovic. It's his season's best. Well, how many goals do you have kick, kicked on you before you get moved? And Djakovic got... has about 55 minutes to build on his seven. Here's Tingay. Doesn't clear the centre square yet. Road. Off the ground, Steins. Gains 35 metres. McEwen charged at it, read it well. Back towards the centre of the ground. Williams a bit of a chance. Neats at fingertips. Still Williams. Morwood, who's kicked three. Yeah, it came off his own play off the back of Watson, I think. Glad you saw that. I was blocked by the middle. Yes. He did, he kicked it straight to Shane Watson on the left foot. So, Monkhorst to do battle against Stein. Stein's taps it cleverly to Obst. That was well done. Todd Viney, back to Phoebe. Now on to uh, Phil Gilbert. Gilbert to half forward. Here they come from the side. No mark to Stretch. Stretch versus Krasiska. It's Melbourne in front again. Grinter. In front of the Melbourne members. They dive on the ball, but Melbourne working very, very hard. Collingwood desperately trying to get themselves back in this game. They've kicked two this term, but so have Melbourne. 14-6 to 8-9. Centre wing, the race is on. McMullen, he went past it with Gilbert. Steins put his body in. Oh, that was clever by Steins. And by Matthew Phoebe. On the Lyon, on the Grinter. And a slips catch at half forward. Now Glenn Lovett. On the boundary line, 45 metres out. Djakovic uses his body. Out goes McEwen. And the kick by Lovett goes through for a behind. I thought he could have looked for Djakovic then. Djakovic had doubled back. He may have been trying to set it up a bit there, but Lovett's been a terrific player. He's had Tony Shaw picking him up. And Lovett's had 20 touches. Tony Shaw 11. Well, this has been a great performance by Melbourne. Have been resurrected. Neil Baum's first four games as a coach in the AFL were losses. And they broke through in round five and again in round six for wins. Paddled on by McCartney, Fraser and Obst. Ball out of play. 
It's 91 to 57. Collingwood have come back once and got to within nine points. They'll have to do it again. Are they good enough? Steins hooks it back with the left hand. Here's Tingay. Oh, here's Glenn Lovett again. He'll look for Jakovic. It's too high, I think. And Ronnie McEwen's dropped the sitter. Jakovic after him. The hand passed. That was uh, Alan Richardson, McEwen again. This is Mickey McGuan coming through centre-half back. Brings it to the half-forward line. Gilbert at the back. Can't mark. Todd Viney. Oh, Todd Viney should have gone for that ball. He waited for his teammate. Now Viney a chance. He's gone. He went without it again. Well, they've let Collingwood in here. There's Morewood diving on it. But I thought Viney just stood back as a spectator then. Not like him. I think he expected Gilbert to come through with the ball, Ross. Yeah, take that. That's right. Chance for the Pies. Watson actually wins the hit out. Glenn Lovett belted down by McEwen, by McMullen. Obst, well done. Cowell up towards centre wing. Road and Gaifer. Gaifer has the ball out in front. Well done by Lyon. Gives Road a chance. His hand pass. Stretch runs onto it. Wide. Jakovic with one hand. It's thumped away by McEwen out of play. Jakovic not happy with the pass. Had to keep it low, didn't he? In fact, Tony Shaw's picking up Obst now. Mick McGuan's picking up Glenn Lovett. So it's at half forward for Melbourne. The danger zone for the Magpies. They really have to get something going early in this term. Here's Lyon doing the ruck work. Shaw went without it. Here's Stretch. Now Hopgood. A quick kick by Hopgood. In towards full forward. And the mark has been taken there by Alan Richardson. He plays on across goal to Gaifer. Vicky Gaifer. Who can he give it to? Mark Fraser's there. Tingay back with a flight. Good mark by Fraser, he's off. Gets well played by Obbs. He was there to catch him. Oh, strong hip and shoulder stuff. All players with eyes on the ball. Hand pass comes out from Steins. Todd Viney brings it into the pocket. And racing after it is Rodney Grinter. Grinter, Grinter I should say, is kick two. He's a beautiful kick. Started well, but hardly had a touch since the first quarter. Well, he is a magnificent kick, Rodney Grinter. He will have to be from here. He's on the boundary line from 49 metres. Here he comes out. Drop punt. Not a bad-looking kick. Stretch. Still in play. Oh, touched over the line for a behind to Melbourne. But, uh, even that behind is helpful as they move on to 14-8 to 8-9 and Collingwood not making any impression on the scoreboard. Monkhorst marks at halfback. He's the only big man on the ground for Collingwood. Francis is run down by Cowell. And the ball goes out of play. He's giving that one too, Drew. He should have Monkhorst and giving it to Francis. Then stepped in front of Cowell to stop the pressure being applied by the Melbourne play. But well done by the young fellow. Cowell, who played in Claremont's premiership team in 1991. He's got a mate from that side here today. Gilbert, teammate at Melbourne. Viney. And the ball goes out of play in front of the Collingwood bench. And we've got uh, Gubby Allen down there with the president, Alan McAllister. And they might be heading for their third loss in a row after being premiership favourites, Collingwood. Steins won that hit out here. Scott Russell, all almost leaked. Russell can run in and have a shot. He kicks from a long way out. The Ruckman are there. Gavin Brown was here, and it's forced through for a behind. Good play by Melbourne. Yes, that was Leeds off the ground there, Pete. Good stuff. Gary Lyon, a bit of cramp behind play in his right calf. So 14-8 to 8-10. Time clock ticking down. Under the 15 minutes to go in the third term. Here's Phoebe again. Steve Phoebe. Wonder if he'll go for that short one again. No, he won't. He kicks it long. Morewood, one-on-one. Over the back is Leeds. Backup support out there by Matthew Phoebe. Matthew Phoebe. Oh, bad hand pass. Neats. Oh, just loped after it. Taken by Francis. Francis in towards half forward. The mark taken by Rowe. It was ordinary play that by Melbourne. Rowe from 70 metres. That's a high floating kick. Stein sets himself. That's a mark to Collingwood. A great mark by Gavin Brown. Had to pay the man in front. A champion's mark. That Tim Stein really should have punched then. He thought he might have had the advantage for the height. Here he is on the right-hand side. But Brown gets in front. Good stuff. 
terrific mark by Gavin Brown. He's been very, very quiet. Four and two. He's been moved to full forward to try and lift the Magpies. He is very strong overhead, Ross. One of the best marks in the competition for his size, Gavin Brown. And he will kick from 15 metres. They need it. They need it badly, the Magpies. He steps and he is gone. That's the first goal of the game for the Magpie champ. And they creep a little bit closer. They're certainly not out of it. 14 8 92. Plays 9 10 64. Yes, and Rowe, Brad Rowe, the player kicking the ball down there with a, a punt that just sat up in the air, a torpedo. But Brown, if they get the ball down there often enough to him when there's a bit of space, don't allow the area to get too congested for him. He'll do the job. Crowd starting to chant Collingwood now, and it's the first time today we've really heard it. Steins out of the middle, ball bounces over the head of Hopgood, gathered by Gaffer. His hand pass is good to Shaw. Look out, Shorey. He goes back. Prasiska. His kick to half forward. Morewood from behind doesn't reach it. Gives away the free. Neats. Shane Morewood had a purple patch in the second quarter and kicked all of Collingwood's goals in that term. Good mark, Saunders. Free kick the line, Drew. He grabbed. Gary Lyon, kick and a half to goal from there. Goes short. Too high for Grinter. He's pushed out, no whistle. Stretch. Just gets it away. Phoebe can't get boot to ball. Prasiska out of defence. Russell's there. Tries to soccer the ball away. It spills back to Glenn Lovett. He's prepared to lose ground to find Viney. Viney straightens, goes long, there's nobody there for Melbourne, Ronnie McEwen. That's a bad play of Vi part of Vi Viney's game. That was shocking play by Viney. There are only Collingwood players down there. He should have been looking for the short option. There's a hand pass out to Saunders from Rocker. Back it comes to Gaifer. Back to Rocker. On to Gaifer. Good play, the Magpies out of defence. The kick in towards half forward, the pack develops. Waiting at the base of the pack, Shane Watson. A clever hand pass. Look at the pace. Fraser. In towards goal, Mark Fraser. And it's marked right in that last line of defence by Hayden Robbins. He's going to come back over his mark. You can't go through the goals that way. You must kick back over your man. He did well to get back there, leaving Gavin Brown to take the mark on the behind line. It's 92 to 64. Melbourne still in front. Shaw camped underneath it. Simister got there. The hand pass from Tingay was intercepted by Williams. Tingay then applied the tackle. Down goes Rowe. Well played by Phoebe. Matt Phoebe gets the ball across to Steins. He's at centre half back. Dodges Morwood. Matt Phoebe's hand pass missed Obst. Phoebe goes back for it. Well, he's made up for it because he's kicked a beautiful kick out there to David Neitz at half back. Almost on centre wing, in fact. Now he's chipping at the centre of the ground. Oh. Glenn Lovett's got this ball on a string today. He's really got to be manned up closer. Glenn Lovett, 13 and 9. Lovett in towards the pocket. Jagovic's got a couple to beat. There's a terrific mark in front of the pack by Gavin Krasiska. They've got to open up their forward line, Melbourne, and give Jagovic more room, Ross. Yes, they do. Oh, it's come unstuck. And lucky for Collingwood that McGuan just got the ball away from Andrew Obst. They went eyeball to eyeball there for a second. And we'll have a throw in. In between wing and half forward. Demon slightly in attack. Steins against Rocker. Steins, but it goes to Shaw. Stretch. Runs it backwards. Then over his shoulder. Inside the 50. McEwen. Jakovic is unmarked. If they can get it to him, they might. Oh, a smother is good by Grinter. Francis did well. Boundary line his only option. Obst. Jakovic in short. Good mark. Well, Ronnie McEwen did the right thing, Drew, by coming out to meet the foot in. Just hold it in there. They couldn't support him well enough. Jakovic just sat back on him, as a forward can do. And the ball came back to without McEwen having a chance to get back. Change being made. Simister off. And Brett Lovett come on. And also for calling it Morwood off. And Christian on. He's kicked seven, Alan Jakovic. Just a 
about over the goalpost, but are behind. Six goals, two to Alan Jackie. Seven goals, two. Well, still the margin uh, just under five goals, and the time clock showing about ten minutes of play left in the third term. The Magpies need a couple of quick ones. Ronnie McEwen to the half back line. Up they go. Thumped on by McCartney. Out there's Tony Shaw. Did he keep it in play? Let's look. Yes, he did. Good play by Shaw. Here's Obbs. Was he grabbed? Kicked off the ground. Here's Todd Viney. Viney tries to break the tackle. Onto the left foot goes Viney. Around the boundary line. Tap back by McCartney. Was good play. Tony Shaw. Centre of the ground. On the Russell. Here come the Magpies. On to Francis. Oh, he's fumbled at Tony Francis. Paul Williams a chance. He's lost it in the tackle, and the Magpies really did mess that up. Yeah, Tony Shaw took a bounce. Gavin Brown had made a lead and was about 15 minutes clear of Robbins. The kick should have come without a bounce from Francis. The bounce, apart from putting himself off balance, left Brown out of position. Going to lift your sights and look ahead. Past the midway mark in the third quarter. Collingwood still with a lot of work to do to pick up this deficit. Shaw goes back to Rocker. Sav Rocker for goal. He's offline. And he's goalless today. Three behinds, his only result. 14-9 to nine goals, 11. Well, at least it's an improvement by Collingwood from their performance in the last round against North when they kicked only five goals. Well, that was a beautiful kick in to stretch, stretch. Oh. To the half forward line, Stein should mark, and he does. He gives it off. Here's Matthew Phoebe wide. He's looking out there for Djakovic. Yes. I think that's poor Manning up. That's from not it's uh, uh, Grinter, I should say. Yep. Very poor Manning up from the kick out. Stretch got free just far too easily. Now you've got a shot at goal. Well, he was 30 metres clear, oh, wasn't he? Should Steve never happen. Well, it was Grinter. He's proving a good foil down there for Djakovic. He's kicked two. He's a beautiful kick. 45 metres, Rodney Grinter. That's a floating kick. Will it get there? It hit the post. Second post to the Melbourne, and Collingwood have had one. So the margin, just under five goals. So that's uh, 29 points. Well, it's a gap which is bridgeable, but I doubt whether Collingwood are playing well enough. Still, long way to go. We've got eight minutes to go in the third term. Here's Fraser. I might live to chew those words. Fraser with pace. Around the outer side. The chaser had no hope. Now it's on the deck. Robbins clears the area for Melbourne. Here's stretch 30 metres in the clear again. Second time in a minute. Well, he should just run all the way here. Kick by stretch is perfect for Lovett. Glenn Lovett. Now he's got one out. The spoil came from behind and McEwen sees the ball out of bounds away from Djakovic and will have a throw in in the forward pocket. 11 kicks for seven goals, Alan Djakovic. Yes, and he went for that one-handed. He could have really tried to mark that with the two hands in. He was in front. Forward pocket, line to do the ruck work against Rocker. Grinter there to lend a hand. Here's uh, Djakovic. Oh, that was nearly out in the fall. No. Found the umpire right on the scene to deliberate on that one. Again, forward pocket. 94 to 65. Melbourne lead. Steins flicks it over the back. And here's a chance for Road. Smothered off the boot. Obst dives on it. Gets it out. Steins! Touched just as it was going to float through for a goal. It was touched by Jason McCartney. Yes, yeah, a good play to always have someone back in that square. Don't leave it vacant. Ronnie McEwen used to be a goal kicker. Now he's trying to be a goal stopper. But he hasn't really stopped Djakovic today, who's kicked seven on him. McEwen's kick towards the outer side. Christian just off the bench. Should have taken the mark and did against Tinge. Fraser just behind centre wing. Gafer. He's the man given the chance to have a run. Long. Row the only chance for the Pies. Paid Robbins the mark. Paid the mark. Not a very long. Stephen Tingay goes wide, no, rather Tingay takes it from Stephen Phoebe. Around the outer side, Road. Enjoyed the role of a forward today. Dodges past Gafer. One out is Lyon. Now he's doubled up. 
Punch towards goal. Chance for Djakovic. Eight. Spectacular goal kicking. Spectacular entertainment, Alan Djakovic. <laughs> I think he lifted his jumper there. He's got some fix on the front of his jumper. I think he just had a bit of a sniff there. But good Chapman. contest here by Lyon. And this is clever stuff. Could have bent down to pick it up. Socket it off the ground. And there it is. Sniffing the VIX. Looked like a crook going into the Oh, court. he's a character. Eight goals. You've got to hand it to him. He is an exciting player, Djakovic. There's Cow. A magnificent hand pass to Stretch. Stretch will kick this. Here's a very long kick. From 45 metres, Stephen Stretch says, thank you very much, I'll have a goal. He is a magnificent kick on the run, and I think Collingham are in big strife now. They trail by seven goals. Well, this is a great effort by Melbourne. Collingwood started this quarter as if they'd meant business and were going to get themselves back in the game. But to Melbourne's credit, they just kept persisting. Their run's been terrific, and players have used their brains and run intelligently not just all over the place, but two position to space. They've made space by running away from the forward area to giving Djakovic and Grinder room. Great footy. 107 to 65. This is one of the boil overs of the season. Stretch, kick the last goal. McEwen in front, he'll need to take this mark. Off hands to Lyon, the hand pass to Grinder, and he gets another one. Three and two minutes to the Demons. They drew Jim Steins in the centre and three occasions just gone up with his left hand, tapped the ball to himself, just turned out of the centre, got the ball moving forward. Christian might even be better off running in from the side. Well, Ronnie McEwen still a full back on Djakovic. Eight goals the margin. I suppose they, they, they should really give Gaper a try at full back. Not that it's Ronnie's fault entirely. The ball's been punched down there time and again. There's Steins. You're quite right about Steins. He has dominated this third term at the centre bounces, Ross. Here's Grinter into the pocket. Look at this. Unmarked Stephen Phoebe. And Lee Matthews will not like that. He ran from back of the centre to make that uh, lead, Phoebe. Phoebe up at the air. Oh, one on one. Peter Road in front, thumped away. Oh, here's another one to stretch. No, he's missed. Well, the Melbourne members who went skiing for the long weekend will regret they missed this. Are you insinuating that it's the Melbourne members that would be the skiers, Drew? With the money to go there? Very possibly, <laughs> very possibly. And this game is worthy of uh, 70,000, and it's about, a, well, it's a long way short of it. Oh. Centre half forward line, away to Obst. He works his way through like a hot knife through butter. Love it. Back he goes to Cowell. Nobody in the goal square. It, oh. Oh, nearly bounced back over Saunders' shoulder. Saunders charged at it, read it pretty well. Christian. The interesting thing is we have Montforst on the bench while Steins is dominating the ruck. And they're typical of the way Conor has been playing some part. There, Russell just sat back, wanting the ball to come to him rather than going and getting it. Well, their big guns aren't getting a kick. They're, they're really match winners for Collingwood. You would rely on not doing well. There's Montforst. He's not on the bench at all. Up just over centre wing and Obst has taken the mark. When you talk about some of the big guns, Francis 12 possessions. Russell's had 12, Tony Shaw's had 15. Not a good enough. And that's not good enough for the small brigade. Gavin Brown. Supposedly the running machine of the competition. Well, they're supposed to be the quickest side in the competition. Well, pace is no good you unless you're getting the ball. A short kick into Tingay. And if Collingwood lose this three in a row, who would have thought of that a few weeks ago? Tingay. He's looking for someone to take a mark. It's a torpedo punt kick. Lyon and Monkhorst. Monkhorst chips in to take an easy mark on the chest. But they're just making no impression on the scoreboard. Another one is McGuan. 16 possessions. The leading kick winner in the league's had just 10 kicks, 6 handballs. Oh, there's Brown against Robbins. Robbins using his body well. He's still got it, Robbins. On to Glenn Lovett, who's played a magnificent game. Lovett 
in towards half forward, but straight onto the chest of Alan Richardson. Rich oh, he's brought down from behind. Too slow. Saunders. Further afield, Mickey Gafer. To half forward, Stein sets himself and he takes it. Stein playing a magnificent quarter for Melbourne. Well, Steins was amongst Victoria's best in their two state games, and his work rate has been incredible. He hasn't missed a club game since 1987. He's beaten the tribunal. He's beaten injury to keep going. Here's Phoebe, long to the goal square. The punch from behind by Moncourse. Gafer, just as well he gathered that one. On the turn, the hand pass to McCartney. Now McGuan, now Shaw. They need more of this. Good chain of hand pass. Krasiska is kicked to centre half forward. Krasis, uh, Christian's been moved. Brown's down there. Whistle's gone. Free kick, Christian. He takes it quickly to unmark Rowe, and Rowe is 20 metres out. Now, the Collingwood fans normally would be raising the roof with something like that. A certain goal right in front, and there was a stunned silence. The score is 114 to 65. In their last game, they were belted by 83 points by North Melbourne. Rowe kicks it. His second goal. And we all thought, well, maybe Collingwood are getting back to their 1990 premiership form, but it's deserted them in a month. Yeah, no question, as Pete mentioned before, Drew, that the running power that some people are in awe of with Collingwood with their pace and their preparedness to run their midfield ball carriers who can dominate a game certainly haven't done that today and it's been their opponents who have done it and Melbourne look extremely sharp so Steins and Monkhorst Monkhorst the big thump he's trying to lift them Francis he's having a touch of the fumbles today Tony Francis there's Monkhorst He's caught. It'll be a bounce. Time clock showing 48 seconds to three-quarter time. It'll be a huge performance for Collingwood if they could get up from here. 17-12 to 10-11. Again, it's Steins with the left hand. And look at him going in there to try and help out. Look, he'll end up with this and gets it out to Obst, who's grabbed when he didn't have it. And Obst made sure the umpire saw that. Now, the last thing would Collingwood would want would be a goal before three-quarter time. Here's the kick out there to Phoebe, Matthew Phoebe. Oh, he plays on, Cal, Cal runs. And what's happening? To 50 minutes. 50 minutes. Oh, this is the nail in the coffin, Job. This is definitely the nail in the coffin. A 50-metre penalty, and Melbourne will kick from 25 to 30 metres out, and to take it will be Matthew Phoebe. I think the nails are all in, and the coffin's in the hearse. Well, good performance by Melbourne, Ross. Yes, Neil Barman would be certainly wondering, or whilst he be, must be very pleased with this, why they couldn't perform this a bit early in the season. If they can continue on. Well, Matthew Phoebe's kick one. He is directly in front. He stabs. And he has goal. So, as the time clock shows... Well, still ticking down, in fact, the time clock and stops on three seconds to three-quarter time. And look at that. Great performance, Melbourne. Well on top. Here's Tony Shaw, the offending player there for Collingwood, allowing Phoebe their 50-metre penalty. Makes him pay the ultimate price. Back in the middle, just three seconds left. Steins, uncontested, Dobbs. And there's the siren for three-quarter time. Melbourne dominant, leading 18-12 to 10-11. Francis and Road having a dip. They work. Peter Carey to bounce the ball to start this last term at the MCG. It's been an absolute shocker for the Magpies. Melbourne have beaten them at every corner. The statistics, and there's Brett Lovett. Statistics favour Melbourne by a mile. They've had far more use of the ball. Collingwood really have to lift here. Here's Tony Shaw receiving from Monkhorst. 
Shaw chips it across to McCartney. They need a couple of quick goals to get them going. The kick in towards full forward. Good mark as it's taken by Big Severio. Rocker has yet to score a goal today, Ross. Yeah, spent some time on the bench in that third quarter. And a spell on the ball for a while. Well, you wouldn't yes. call it a spell. They tried Monkhorst at full forward where he kicked two quick goals. They need three or four quick ones to open this term, the Magpies. Rocker from 45 metres. It drifts back. Beautiful kick for a goal. Maybe that'll lift the Magpies. They've got a long way to go, though, on the scoreboard. 18-12. Plays 11-11. Interesting to watch Lee Matthews at three-quarter time. He didn't address his players very much at all, but what he did say was obviously fairly harsh and for his short to sink and then just walked away and left the players to their own devices to try and resurrect something from this game. Eighteen twelve. There's a name for an overture. The cannon sounded and the bubbles burst for the pies. McEwen couldn't take it. Socket off the ground, out towards the forward pocket. Saunders is back there. Richardson kicks across the face of goals to Monkhorst, who marks behind centre half back. Back to McEwen. Jankovic has let him go. McEwen drifts the hand pass over the top to McCartney. They're still only at half back. Jason McCartney playing his second senior game this year. The kick to half forward. Melbourne in front, can't take the mark. Morwood tries to paddle the ball on. Shaw in there. The use of the body to get himself between ball and opponent and forces the ball up at centre-half forward for the Pies. A lot of the Collingwood running players well down. Tony Francis only had seven kicks and five handballs. Scott Russell, three and nine. That's unheard of in uh, Collingwood when they're playing well. There's a quick kick. That was by Robbins. Here's Francis. They need him to start firing. Gavin Krasiska. Here's Scott Russell. Now Mark Fraser. A chance again. The kick in towards Rocker. Rocker with the height at the back. Can't take it. Mickey McGuan. Hand pass over. Morwood. Oh, did that hit the post? I think it's a goal. Great goal. Shane Morwood has kicked a ripper. Four goals. That's and it. maybe they can come back yet, the Magpies. It was a clever kick, but I thought he may have even got the ball across the row, but here. Gilbert in front, just not quite a tall enough to get that grab. McGuan, a hopeful handball. And a lovely kick. I thought it might have just nicked the post, but it didn't. Went right round, just kept bending back. Well, Colling would have kicked two goals in three minutes to start the last turn. It's a long way back, deficit of 49 points. Mark here to Neitz, David Neitz. 18-year-old playing his 10th game. Away to Obst. Kick by Obst to centre-half forward. Chris Sisko. Been good since half-time. Hand pass to Richardson. They need centre corridor. They need quick scores, the Pies. Richardson to centre-half forward. Morwood again! Oh, two grabs, not quite enough. Obst. Steins caught in the tackle. Robbed by Rowe. He goes to ground. Empire will ball it up. Hollywood players appealing for holding the ball and Peter Carey having none of that. The two umpires today, Peter Carey, Anton McKernan. This is Peter Carey about the bounce. Steins had a magnificent third term. There he is. And he has had 16 kicks, 11 handballs and 9 marks. Not a bad effort for a big man. Still at half forward for the Magpies as Melbourne try and get it out. And the Collingwood players have talked Peter Carey into holding the ball here. Oh, they all time. looked around and said, what about it? What do you think, Ross? Well, there are two players being held there, Melbourne players, with Collingwood arms flailing everywhere in the breeze. And Tony Shaw, didn't he give it to Glenn Lovett? Well... <laughs> Love it was at the base of the pack. The umpire deemed him to be holding the ball. Scott Russell directly in front. Well, if he kicks his, the Magpies right back in it. He's hooked it. A bad miss. They wanted that one to put a bit more pressure on Melbourne. He's had an ordinary day, Scott Russell. Still six goals. It's a big deficit. Kick in by Gilbert. Steins doesn't attempt the mark this time. He punches the ball on. Neats. Kick smothered. Collingwood have definitely lifted. Russell spun in the tackle. 
Yes, that's often and usually and should be enough to be holding the ball, and Great. it is this time. Great tackle, Drew, by Phoebe. Terrific stuff. Well, Francis better give this back or it'll be 50. Oh, the umpire let him take his time. Viney down the outer boundary line, and Cal was on his own. Francis too slow to get back there. Kicked by Cal, is right out near the boundary. And I suppose Melbourne will be happy to see this ball out of bounds for the whole of the last quarter. Well, if Collingwood have got any character, they will fight back hard because really they have been thrashed today in general play. There's Gary Lyon hooking it over. Gavin Brown goes to ground. The umpire will come in and bounce. It seems like a long time ago, but it's worth remembering. Melbourne kicked the first seven goals of the game before Collingwood even woke up. And then Collingwood kicked the next five. And they looked like we're going straight past them too, Collingwood, didn't they? Drew and then Melbourne steady. Now, here's Peter Rowe. Saunders caught. Gets it to Tony Shaw. But his quick kick lands with Glenn Lovett, one of the best players on the ground. Glenn Lovett to half forward. Up they go. It's a loose ball. It's with Melbourne. Tingay shuffles it out. Stretch. Tingay. Tingay looking for a hand pass. He gives it out wide. Here's a chance for Rodney Grinter on the left foot. Oh. And he slams it right through the middle. And he's a happy man. That's a steadier. He's kicked four goals, Rodney Grinter. And again, the Demons lead by seven. And again, Pete, good play by Tingo. The quick hands, just the first option. The instinctive thing, they get the ball moving. Make sure Collingwood have to keep chasing. That's a great kick by Grinter. That's a classic kick. Seven kicks, four goals, Rod Grinter. That's all he's needed to do, Drew. Oh, just terrific. An important steadier for the D's. Their first goal of this last quarter. Shaw pulled off his hand pass. Monkhorst couldn't get Burt to ball. Tingay goes back and gets it again. Comes out wide towards centre wing. Phoebe, one of them. That's Matthew. Hand pass to a man sitting on the ground stretch. And he'll finish up with the ball. It was Grinter. And Grinter gets the hand pass out to Obst. That's amazing. And Obst, well, Road couldn't take the mark. Chance for Gaper. Great tackle, love it. Ball held to him. The umpire will do the work. She's a good player, Glenn Lovett, Ross. Nice. Well, it's, he's had seven marks, 17 kicks, 10 handballs, best and fairest last year, and uh, played in two state games last week. A quick hand pass from Watson. No, it wasn't. It was from Saunders out to Prisiska. Rowe, been very busy, hasn't had a lot of kicks. Oh, look at the Phoebes. This is uh, Stephen Phoebe on the top, Viney. The kick wide, he finds stretch, danger again for Collingwood. The run is on, the chip pass is on, and there he is as he marked it. Yes, he has, Alan Jagovic. Oh, he's going to chip it in short here. The lead. Ah, oh, good play by Jagovic to Lyon. And Gary Lyon has marked 35 metres from goal, almost directly in front. Yes, he's got himself down to full forward, Gary Lyon. He's just struggling a bit. Uh, his legs are very weary. A bit of cramp, that's why he's got his socks down. But he really helped set it up in that first quarter and a half. He was the catalyst across half forward, just gave them something to kick to, got the footy the majority of times when it came toward him and fed it off to the right option. So Gary Lyon, the Melbourne captain, first goal of the game if he kicks this one. He's directly in front. I think it's a goal, all right. Goal up by did not move, right through the middle. Well, Melbourne are safe now. They lead by eight. Well, that's got to be a coach pleaser. When the full forward who's got eight gives the short pass to the skipper. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Getting back to Glenn Lovett, Drew, you mentioned uh, what a terrific player he's been. Just admire a fellow who's worked so hard at his game off the field, just given it everything he's got, and the rewards have come to him on the footy match, on the ground in each game. Terrific to see that sort of thing. Back in the middle. Melbourne have kicked the last two after the Pies kicked the first two in this quarter. Bit of a fumble there by uh, Neitz. Christian. Oh. Well played, Viney. Love it again. The hand pass. Steins to Tinge. These go forward again. Short pass. Jakovic on the bounce. Scoops it in. Can't beat the tackle. He put it down. Holding it. <laughs> 
He knew it too, Alan Jakovic. This is Richardson. Steins and Watson. Stop. So a free kick against Steins to Watson. A little bit soft, that one. And uh, good peak, yeah. Jimmy Steins not happy with that at all. That might have got his eyes blinded by the lights. <laughs> it certainly was a lucky free kick. But Shane Watson at half back. Blinded by the star of the game. Well, here's uh, Mickey Gafer. Back to Watson. Watson coming to centre wing. It's a wobbly one in towards the pocket. A pack develops. Rocker couldn't mark. Oh, look at Obst. Oh, tremendous play by Obst to Steve Phoebe. Obst again. Now Tingay, but in the meantime, a free kick back behind the play, and it looks like Stephen Phoebe to take it. At half back for the Demons. 16 minutes for the Pies to endure. To half forward, Lyon flies. Punch comes from behind, disciplined. Ball out of play, and Gary Lyon cramping up. Not looking too good. 2012 to 12-12. Melbourne, the team that started the season like the Swans. Couldn't buy a win. Brett Lovett pulled off his hand pass. Goes in again for it. Hand pass is all right to Robbins. High ball towards the 50. Krasiska's there. Grinter made a contest of it. Comes to Richardson. Delivers a good hand pass to Gaither. Running through the cricket pitches. Oh. The kick falls short, about 15 metres short of what he needed. Off the ground goes Obst. Out of bounds. Standing ovation from the members. Yeah, the kick from Mickey gave for to Christian, who was a couple of strides in front of his opponent. Just a real floating, tumbling punt. But Andrew Obst has had 14 kicks and seven handballs. But I reckon there'd be 30 other times this will be a free kick to Steins, I think, for too high. But he does all the hard work, Obst, yes. doesn't he, Ross? Yes, as they say, those little one percenters. Oh, little knock-ons and uh, charging into packs that uh, don't go on the stats. Now that's Tingay to half four. Oh, great mark. This is Graham Yates on the ground. First run for the game in this term. He's going to run around and have a shot himself on the left foot. Back towards the pocket. Jakovic and McEwen underneath it. Still a chance for Road. Peter Road on the left foot has oh. slammed another one through the middle. You wouldn't believe this. <laughs> Peter Road has kicked his third goal and he loves it. There's some Brad Rose been taken off for that indiscretion on the outer flank and Williams is back on. Just got his kick away, Yates, in time, but the bounce of the ball favouring Road, who is behind there. Shaw couldn't get his hand to it. Mayo hot to great kicks for goal. Grinter with a left foot earlier. And now Peter Road. Well, Melbourne did win at Victoria Park last year, but haven't beaten Collingwood at the MCG since 1988. They turned that around. Here's Robbins. Steins again to Brett Lovett. He's got a choice. He kicks to half forward. Maybe not the best choice. Jakovic oh. goes back soccer fashion. Just dishing the ball back to Grinter. Steins had followed up. Now Jakovic on his own. Will this be number nine? Across the face. In the field of play. Road and run over the line by Saunders. Should have given a handball yes, there, Pete. Alan Jakovic. When Lovett was clear, I thought he may have drawn the player toward him and given a handball over. Nine goals won the margin in favour of Melbourne. has been a top performance. Lyon. Oh, the big hands go up. Hand pass to Phoebe. Matthew Phoebe playing for the free kick. Francis attacking him. Well played, Matthew Phoebe. Gets in a hand pass. Look at Steins. Very, very clever. Cowell. This is Darren Cowell on the left foot. Darren Cowell. Oh, it deserved a goal. A great attempt. One behind only. Pretty quick, uh, Cowell. Ross? Very, very quick. In fact, his role today, picking up Francis after the first quarter, has been very good. Great learning uh, curve for him too, Pete. Played three games only last year after being drafted and coming across from Claremont. But he's got into gear this year. Shaw goes over the top to Francis. Hand pass back into Saunders. Saunders, bang, long. Morwood. There's Obst. Morwood. Caught in the tackle by Brett Lovett, but the ball's held to him. And the umpire, once again, will do the work on the 50 out near the boundary line. Well, even there, Ob's got back to uh, have the spoil. 
So it's at half forward for the Magpies. Let's see if they can salvage something out of this game. There's uh, Glenn Lovett again. Another kick. And showing courage. Matthew Phoebe running back with a flight. And that's not easy to do that, not knowing what's coming. He's had 16 and 6. Well, if you look at the stats, the Melbourne players have just dominated everywhere. Monkhorst. What about this? Kicks 207 to 136. That's unheard of, isn't it? Between two top sides, there's a holding decision, I feel, here, and it's going the way of Melbourne. So this is Hayden Robbins. Gavin Brown's not a shadow of his uh, ability, so you just wonder whether he's 100%. Now there's uh, Stephen Phoebe. In towards half forward, Monkhorst looking very, very tired. Grinter races after it with him, and Grinter helps it on its way over the line. There's nearly 80 possessions difference between the two teams. That's incredible. 56 points the margin. Monkhorst number one. Stretch actually was the ruckman, came over the top. Yates. Jakovic on the turn. Jakovic gets his ninth. Well, he was welcomed back a couple of rounds ago against the Eagles when he kicked six and kissed his brother. But oh, this is big. Nine goals and a chance for double figures. Well done, Yates, here to unselfishly get the ball forward from the ruck knockout and gave Jakovic the chance for his ninth. The sort of team play that wins your matches. Oh, great knock on by Yates. Well, it's over 10 goals now, the margin. Things looking dismal for Collingwood, their third loss in a row. And, uh, well, their second absolute hiding in a row. North Melbourne thrashed them at Victoria Park, but here's a good mark taken by Shane Morwood. He's tried hard, he's kicked four. Even he had a spell on the bench. Now he's at 50 metres, Shane Morwood. He'll lob it up in the goal square. The high flyers are there, Christian Dyer. Oh, that's a goal, I feel. They cleared the pack, a goal. Good effort, Shane Morwood, he's fifth. So 22-14 to 13-12. Yes, and Morwood, uh, quite rightly, Pete's been... Collingwood's best forward, not just because he's kicked the goals, but he's the only player that's looked any sort of danger at all. If they've gone forward and had a target, uh, more targets like Moorwood, they would have been better off. Not to beat. Still nearly 11 minutes to go. Steins, we'll give it to him. Didn't clear the area. Collingwood free kick to Francis. Very disappointing, Tony Francis. To Morwood, who's kicked five, he's marked again. And he's kicked them all at this end of the ground, so he can find those goals at the scoreboard end. Always like Morwood as a forward rather than a backman, actually. And Pete, wasn't he given the club award against uh, North Melbourne? They got beaten badly. Yes, he played very, very well. One of their few good players. Kicking from outside 50. Not quite. In front, yes, Christian. Michael Christian jogging back to take his kick as though he needs to do it in a hurry. Not sure whether he still reckons they're a chance. Christian goals. Well, at least it's two in a row for the Pies. That's just 50 points the difference. Yeah, there's not a lot a coach could do in this situation. He's made all the moves that were open to him. And as we mentioned, his address at three-quarter time virtually said, well, you know what, I think if you now go and try and show that it's not right, try and turn it around for me. So we're back in the centre, Steins and Monkhorst. Tapped on by McGuan. And the Magpies go forward again. Scott Russell hooks it back in front of goal. Obst, and he's got backup support from Phil Gilbert and a good diving mark from Gilbert. He plays on on the left foot. He's got loose men everywhere. He finds Robbins. Casual pinpoint On to Glenn Lovett. He can go back to Robbins. Robbins can sprint towards goal and kick it in long towards the forward line. Jakovic is there and Lyon. Lyon use of the body. Magnificent. He just lit into his opponent. And uh, McCartney, he just 
Well, there's Jason McCartney, a bit, bit of experience here in Lions Park too. Yes, yeah, just needs a bit more strength in his legs. Ops just coming off with leather poisoning. Yes, he's having a well-earned rest. He's done a lot of hard work and hopped it back on. Gary Lyon will kick for his second. Very acute angle. There's the kick from Lyon. It's close. It drifts. And one behind only. And with Ops coming off, Stretch has gone back onto Morwood. And Hopgood up onto the forward line. Looks as though Gary Lyon needs a rest. Hip back to position. No mark taken. Comes to Phoebe. Oh, had a choice of three players. Glenn Lovett's the man. And that's poor marking by Collingwood, isn't it? Oh, my word. Lovett deserves a goal. This is his 31st possession, 19th kick. He's fitting if he does kick a goal. What a bath the Demons are giving the Pies. 40 metres out. Goal. Margin was 22 at quarter time, 33 at half time, 49 at three quarter time. And I thought Gary Lyon looked as though he needed the rest and he's going to the bench, the skipper. Yes, he looks if he needed a rest during that third quarter during he started cramping up. And just look at Glenn Lovett going back to the centre there before. He may well smile. He's deserved it. Reward for effort. Steins and Mockhorst. Steins won that with the left hand. And Francis has been, well, he's been collared every time he's been near the ball today. And full marks to young uh, Darren Cowell on right of screen. Look at that, eight and six for a man who's in the play, Ross. Not good enough. Well, the Victorian state side couldn't do it. So, you see the bounce again. Uh, Monkhorst wins that one. Tony Shaw's been pretty quiet too. Glenn Lovett off the ground. Tingay has worked very, very hard. Here's Graham Yates. Shuffles it out to Todd Viney. Back it comes. Brett Lovett. And the free kick back behind the play for holding. And uh, it will go Melbourne's way to Todd Viney. Did you see that, Ross? Well, I think Russell was in fringe. It was a bit technical. Todd Viney, oh, shocking kick. No mark to Tony Shaw, though. Onto the left foot. And there's a good mark. No, a push out against Neitz <laughs> on Christian. And I don't think we'd argue with that one. It was certainly there. Michael Christian kicks wide. Tony Shaw. Now, can he chip it in? He can. And coming out to take the mark. And that almost looked like slow motion by the players yeah. then. Well, certainly if you compare Rocker. the way the game's been played today, please. Siberio Rocker has kicked one. Collingwood on the end of their second hiding in two weeks. As Rocker kicks for goal, and it looks pretty good from here. It's a goal. Two goals to Siberio Rocker. And the scoreboard shows Melbourne 23-15 at Collingwood, 15-12. Yes, and Collingwood go to the Gabba next week to play Brisbane. Then they have the Eagles at Victoria Park the week after that. So they've got some work ahead of them. And Melbourne setting themselves up for a great clash with Essendon back here at the MCG next week. Just over six minutes remaining. Mont course beats Dines this time. Dead heat between Lovett and Shaw. Tony Shaw. Yep, 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 yep. On course again, but Steins with another oh. possession. And the kick to the 50. Chance for Yates. Saunders gets away from him. Back over his shoulder he goes. Robbins attacked the ball pretty well. Kick by Robbins. Kept low. Jakovic. Tried to hip out McEwen. McEwen did particularly well, but his hand passed back. Hopgood, Cowell, across the half forward line to Tingay, but punched down by Fraser. Monkhorst to the run of Shaw. Brown, it's going to be a Collingwood free. Advantage has come unstuck. Fraser has a second chance. Off to Brown. Kick by Brown. High for Rocker. Gilbert from behind, punches straight to the hands of Yates. And Yates picks out Tingay. Well, he's got a choice of two. Tingay will take it. Yes, this is uh, Steve Tingay. 
He's worked very, very hard. And look at Glenn Lovett. He's tired, but he's still battling on. A beautiful kick. And he finds Scott Simister. Simister in towards half forward. will clear the pack. Oh, well, it doesn't clear Shane Watson, was it? Let's have a look. It was Watson, but he couldn't take the mark. No, it wasn't. It was, uh, in fact, Saunders. They look very alike, uh, Darren Saunders and Shane Watson. One's got the streak in the head. Yeah, that little grey streak. And he's been quiet, Shane Watson, today too. They've had, they've hardly had a good player. Go on, say it now, Pete. For Magpies. If Saunders had the streak in his hair, he'd look like Watson. <laughs> no, Go he on. won't do that. <laughs> Lawrence Money's here today, the uh, boot and mouth man. Jim Steins, what a big game. Nine marks, 19 kicks, 14 hand passes, and Melbourne are winning the hit outs 30 to 26. Poke forward. Here's Saunders without the streak, and will take a free kick. Hand pass comes wide to Gaifer. We've got four minutes remaining in this game. Fraser, if he can get clear. No, he can't because Robbins interferes. It's good play by Robbins. He gave away the professional free kick. Exactly. It's a 50. That was a free kick off the ball here. Neitz is going to give her a free kick to Christian. And uh, Christian just lost a uh, contact lens and was good enough to see it on the ground and pick it up. Good effort. I'm guessing it's a contact lens. I yes. don't imagine it's a tooth. Yeah, it would be a contact lens for sure. Well, Actually, I've seen, a game, I've seen a game stop for about eight minutes and, uh, with people crawling on hands and knees to look for a contact it's lens. It's happened to Steve Kernahan once, didn't it? We're looking for his. Christian, can he see the goals? Not on that evidence. Oh, good mark in front to Morwood. Oh, he's lining up for number six. That'd nearly be a career best of Shane Moore. Well, he's kept trying hard, hasn't he? Well, Shane Moorwood, in his uh, career, kicked 118 goals in 204 games. So I don't know whether he's ever kicked a hat-trick, but he's done that today. Three in the second quarter, three in the last. Yes, he certainly favoured that end of the ground, Drew, but just worked his way to the front there, getting away from stretch. All the Melbourne defenders looking at each other, saying, well, who is going to punch? So back to the centre we go. The, the spark gone right out of this game. Steins. And Mokos, well, Mokos jumped into him. Here's Brett Lovett. A oh, good hand pass out to Hayden Robbins. Robbins chipping in towards the pocket. Oh, good mark. A slips catch and he's lost his boot, Peter Road. He'll have to, he'll probably try and play on here. He does. And he finds Matthew Phoebe. Good thinking because he couldn't have kicked far without his boot. Now, Jakovic is one out with Ronnie McEwen. But uh, Matthew Phoebe. And what we've seen in the distance might be a doubt here, Ross. I agree with you, Pete. Here's the kick. It doesn't make the distance. Up into the square. Djakovic at the back. And also McCartney and forced through by Darren Saunders for a behind to Melbourne. So 23-16 to 16-12. But in any man's language, this has been a real hiding to the Magpies today. Saunders to centre wing. Fraser. Had the numbers two to one on that wing. Fraser pops it over for Gaifer. Might get some cheap goals here in the last couple of minutes. Shaw. Rocker. Spoiled by Gilbert. And the ball's taken out of bounds and we'll have a throw in. Just under two minutes to go. 23-16 to 16 goals 12. Melbourne made a sluggish start to the season, but they're off and running now. This will be their fourth win in their last six games. And they'll start to get within touch of the six and a final spot. Maybe not out of the question for the Demons. If they could keep up this form. And the ball goes out again. And Collingwood, who were the tearaway pace setters. Well, three losses in a row. If this form continues, they won't play in the finals. Steins and Rocker. Now, no free kick. But with Robbins getting it across to Todd Viney. Oh, here he comes again, Glenn Lovett. 
Hand pass to Gilbert. Gilbert racing down the grandstand side of the ground, the Melbourne members' side. Hooks it back to half forward. Flying over the back was Simister. There's a hand pass from uh, Peter Road on towards Grinter. Now Brett Lovett. Alan Richardson. Oh, straight to the boundary line. That's deliberate. <laughs> You've got to disguise it a little bit better than that. <laughs> and he knows it. Now, chipping it across his Yates. Oh, look at this. And the mark, easy as you like, taken by Scott Simister, playing his first game for the Demons. Yep, started uh, in defence, was benched. He's about to kick his first goal in the AFL. Well, he's a good size of a player and he kicks the ball very well. Well, we noticed that early in the game, he's kicking the ball 60 metres nearly yes. every time. So Simister directly in front. His first goal in AFL football. He stabs at it. I think he's kicked it all right. He's happy. Yes, a goal. It's his first, as we said. 160 to 108. Yes, well, Neil Barham would be very, very pleased with his players today. Whilst in a couple of the quarters there, they just dropped away their effort for about 10 minutes or so, allowing Collingwood to, to come back a little. Throughout the course of the game, though, they were always dominant. And really didn't look like allowing Collingwood back in long enough to get close enough to take the lead. 11 seconds remaining. Can the Ds rush it forward? Can Jakovic get his 10th goal after the siren? He kicked a goal after the siren in the first half. But the ball's gone the wrong way for the Demons. It's gone Collingwood's way to Fraser. And Fraser gets a consolation point. It's a big win to the Demons. 160 to 108, 109. What a flogging Melbourne have given Collingwood.